I'm warming up. We're live. Put on your patent leather panties. This is the 50th episode of the Who Moves My Freedom podcast. Oh God. With yours truly, movement. Hank Strange. And of course, I've got Walter Keller. Look at him. He's there. Walter Keller. Had to have my boys in on this one. This is the 50th one. I can't believe we've done 50 so far. And then Baby Fizz P. He's got the he got the beer and the guns, right? The beer and the guns. That's a good way to make sure this will never get monetized. <laughs> Thanks, baby face. Thank you. you. Know it. <laughs> Just yeah. Making sure that that monetization dude from YouTube is like, uh uh, nope. We this is comedy, by the way, monetization. Right, right. It's, uh, it's this a- is strictly entertainment. We are all comedians. It's all ad lib. This is like the new kind of virtual stand up. No, we're gun guys. We're gun guys. <laughs> All right. So welcome to everyone that's hanging out there. We've got a bunch of people hanging out in the chat room, folks tuning in and watching us. What's up? We're going to have like a few, one or two full auto guns on here. I thought we'd have the full auto conversation. I know not everyone has full auto, but I figured since it's the 50th, we'll just talk about this a little bit. Really, I, I didn't realize it's going to be the 50th. And like everything else, I just threw this together at the last minute. <laughs> so just go with it. Go with it. We're going to talk a little bit of full auto, talk about guns and all that kind of stuff like we usually do. We have some cool things in here that I want to tease you with. Um, check this out. This is full auto, by the way. All right. First, first answer gets a, uh, gets a gnome patch. What? Uh, yeah, like, who, who, what, what who it knows is? what this is? Yeah. So who can tell us exactly what is the designation of this gun that I'm holding up? No patch. Gets a known patch from Walter. <laughs> if you care or not. And you got a clue. It is full auto. So there you go. So we've got that, and we've got some other cool things that we're going to show tonight on the show that we're going to talk about. Walter's got some stuff. Babyface got some stuff. And we're going to talk about it. So I just want to remind everyone that's watching here to click that link button, that like button, the link button. <laughs> click the link. They, yeah, click the link yeah. Below. We'll put links up later. Click the like button. Share this video with your friends and family on social media, and then make sure you are subscribed to the Hank Strange situation. And also, you know, um, just for future reference, there's like 40 episodes so far on iTunes. 40 episodes on iTunes. That's like, I don't know, what, 80-something hours worth of just our beautiful melodic voices (laughs) going at it for your entertainment pleasure. That's what you call it? (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. That's what I call it. So I want to shout out this bunch of people in here, folks who are always supporting us. We got Chris B, Chris Bullis. That's the, like, there's Chris B, then there's Chris Bullis. They're both Chris B, really. But we got those dudes hanging out here with us. Uh, Who else do we have here? E-Rock. Okay, that's someone new. Lawrence Lerwick, you know, Meredith's Mayhem. we got some cool folks already hanging out in the chat. So what's up to you guys? I'm sure we'll get a bunch of more people joining in. So don't forget to share this and let people know that we're doing it. Nobody guessed what that thing was yet? Nobody's guessing. Yeah, is anyone guessing what that was I was holding up? Should I hold it up one more? Not yet. fast. You showed it to me earlier. I got it. What's wrong with you guys? Let me. Yeah, because everyone's not you, Walter. Here, let me hold it up again. Here we go. Check this out. I'll show you the top side of it. Very cool gun that we got here. Belongs to the Big Daddy Guns. Shout out to the Big Daddy Guns for letting us do 50 episodes without canceling us. No hinting, Babyface. No. <laughs> oh, Babyface <laughs> is trying to cheat in the in the. So the so whoever can figure that out here in the next few minutes. Well, you know what? The first person who figures that out will get you. A gnome patch, right? right. Was it a gnome patch? Actually, you know what? We'll, 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 we'll get the gnome patch and the soon to soon to be here um, Trump, Trump, uh, the Trump rooster. Oh, so you get two I patches. Want one of the Trump roosters. Two <laughs> Trump patches. Trump. So let me see. We got Lawrence Lerwick says first production Thompson. Ooh, no. not even close. Not even close. close. No it's, not that. it's not that. Not even close. Uh, so, you know. That's a little close. Go ahead, keep no, it's yeah. a little close. Babe. No, it's, it's not. It's in the ballpark. It's, it's in the yeah, ballpark. It's not. Shape-wise, it's not. Okay. All right. So we, you've got time to figure it out. We're going to be talking about that. Walter, what do you have? What do you have? Um, well, I, I, I got a new book. If, if you guys like who, – who's out? who out there likes Uzis? 
me, I like Uzis. Uzi, yeah, you double fisted dude. There, was fisted, yeah. Double handed, yeah. Both hands. I got a new book. It's all about the Uzi sub machine gun, and this thing is awesome. I mean, I'm not. I don't have any financial interest in it or anything. But so it's, it's by David Gaburi. Gaburi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I just got it yesterday and flipped through it last night. Very informative. Uh, all the different models, all the different countries, all the, the, the build up, the prototypes. Um, so just tell us what the title is again for the people who are listening on iTunes later on in the future. The Uzi Submachine Gun by David Gabory, I would say it's called. Yeah. Examined. It's got these like, these, um, what is that called? Like, uh, stenciled out words saying examined. examined okay show us something what you what you got in there oh well speaking of uzis i got um now i know you're upset because uh, this one is a actually an orinko and with that big old long pecker <laughs> <barrel. laughs> and then it's a semi-auto so yeah. okay it's but, semi-auto because i, like I thought i sent out the memo that said full auto only what happened walter yeah I had oh, been Lawrence Lerwick. I don't know. Uh, you know me. I'm 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 slow. Oh, That's Lawrence Lerwick says Lawrence, American wow. 180 machine gun. That's right. Bingo. Boom! You win the thing, Lawrence Lerwick. So uh, I'm I'm assuming he was the first one, person to guess that, right? Yeah, the first one I've seen. Um, I've been watching. That, uh, yeah, Joe Carpenter said the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like that now you think about it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, message uh, Hank with your your contact info. Oh, speaking yeah, of that, send, yeah, uh, give Lola your info here in the chat. Kevin Doherty says Birmingham, <laughs> Alabama no, no, no. says what's don't up. Put your address in the chat. Do not put yeah. your address in the chat. Oh yeah, don't yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Figure out a way to private message Lola. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> did we get from the last time we gave away stuff? Did anybody send their uh, their contact? Yeah. Oh yeah, people are always pe folks are always sending their stuff to Lola, and Lola's right, always we, you need to sending get out cool Thank things. You. I can get them their stuff. So, okay, hold on. Babyface is throwing That's up a gun. Kevin, Go ahead, Babyface. Kevin, Kevin was just saying, nice FTE pistol. There you nice go. Nice FTE pistol. Is that full auto, Babyface? You know, I wish. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> and a little switch on the back. <laughs> it, is, it is not full auto. <laughs> Put a little switch on the back. <laughs> and then it'll be, it'll be full auto. All right. So what else you got, Walter? What else you have there? Or... Well, uh, okay, it's not. Oh well, hang on. Let's 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 kind of pull this out. This uh, it is, looks like an HK, or is it? A, well, this one's actually a little bit of a uh, little bit of HK, a little bit of sent me. So um, this is kind of a hybrid. This is one of the uh, guns that I built when I was uh, just getting uh, into building things. Ooh, and, I like um, it. So yeah, it's semi-auto. Used to be full. I know. Boo hoo, <laughs> boo hoo. But um. So why don't you have the full auto stuff? Because you don't, you don't. Well, I mean, I can have it all with my license, but um, I just haven't got around to building a full auto HK. I just, I don't know. I can. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah, I'll absolutely, you can. Money too quickly. At, at one yeah. time, I was more, I was more worried about um, if I needed to sell it. I can sell the semi stuff. I can't sell the full auto stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Not that's true. That's true. Anyway, so. Yeah, and by the way, this, uh, this, this. Uh, this American. 22 LR, yeah. This 22 LR submachine gun that's suppressed is suppressed and full auto. That's freaking awesomeness right there. <laughs> Think about that. I mean, you know, that's like full auto fun at its best, right? When it's 22. I mean, you know, if you're a baller like Walter, you could just <laughs> just make it yourself. You could throw 50 cal down range, full auto. <laughs> but 22, this is a good way for me to throw some some lead down range, man. 22, I'm okay with that. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah, we could get you could get it by the bricks. So we'll talk a little bit about that since Walter is an expert on those, right, Walter? Yeah, let's let's just say I know enough to be dangerous. You know a little something. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can hit us up with your questions and all that. Um, I brought. Well, one of course says, "Why would I want to sell it?" Well, yeah, exactly. Why would you <laughs> want to sell it? So check this out. Here's something I have. What? Because Walter apparently has no guns tonight. Oh, stop it. So <laughs> here we go. MPX with the SIG brace on it and an MRO from Trigicon. You know, that's nice. And I figured that we'll talk about this because what's the um, what's the, what's the uh, new SIG SIG has out? What's this thing they have? The Rattler? 
The Rattler, yeah. Rattler, yeah. So we can pull rifle in the world. Yeah. Sig decided, you know what? Um, MCX no, no, You know, Sig, yeah, M MCX uh, Rattler. That's what it's called. Sig announced it today because, you know, they figured no one's talking about them lately in the news or yeah, anything like that. Why, that's not why they're doing it. <laughs> why they do it? They're doing it because uh, SOCOM put our requirement for a PDW. There you go. And um, in 300 blackout, the only thing that I don't see happening with that, unless I'm missing something with the Rattler, is the fact that they're looking for a quick change barrel so they can go between 300 blackout and 223. Yeah. It has mm. to go on to an M4 um, lower also. Yeah, that's not going to happen here, is it? Um, well, that 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 upper, I guess, will fit on an AR lower, but you got to use that stock adapter to get it to work like they're uh, Oh, I didn't know that. So Here's the thing. I'm going to throw this in the chat so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can go watch this video without making a lot of noise, but I'll I'll throw it in both chats so the folks that are watching us can go see. Video? This is the video that um this is the video that Sig put up today to promote their thing. Oh, it's so true. before I uh you guys go ahead and watch that. I'll keep talking here. So Yeah, so they're saying in the announcement it's a switch barrel. So I guess you can change the barrel. Well, see, that's why they're not doing it cuz they want to give Ooh, it that's loud. What is that? Oh, yeah. So, so you know. Um, so go ahead, Walter. You're telling us about why they announced it because um, basically, you know. Um, well, yeah, they're not doing it government because they want to sell it to us. They want to get into a. They want to get into SOCOM's pants. So yeah, if you look at the firearm blog, there's an article about it. It says SOCOM submitted an RFI. <clears throat> what does RFI stand for? Um, request oh, it's, for, it's an open. It's it's. They just throw it out. I don't. I can't remember what they request for invitation. Maybe. Right. Uh, so if they put it out there for industry to to submit what they think they can do. Okay. So uh, Sig is putting it up. I wanted to do one actually too, and and we still might. I we we. I actually told Socom I was interested, but I haven't heard anything back, so I don't know how okay. that's gonna work. So. So let me ask you something. Cal? Just how many hookers can you afford? How much hookers and coke can you afford? <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just curious because you know are they gonna, are they <laughs> it's going to be part of the equation here. Are they going to shoot in this video, or is this going to be just a, a a walk through a Middle Eastern village? Um, there's going to be there's going to be some shooting. Come on, come on, get down. Yeah. I don't need to I see think it. if you look at this video, it, it's like, you know. You, this white guy is walking through this neighborhood. He'd stick out. They'd, every one of them would be on their <laughs> cell phone. He'd be dead already. <laughs> they'd, be tell, they'd be calling their buddies on the cell phone, calling in a, a AK strike on his Yeah. Head. You know, they'll, they'll be talking in their language. White dude oh, walking on the block. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look suspicious at all, but he oh, might be. Man. He might be CIA. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, look out for the backpack. <laughs> Uh -huh. So yeah, I think you know it's interesting the the uh, commercials or the marketing stuff that these guys come up with, right? Because they're trying to sell this stuff to you, like, oh, look at check this out, it's all super tactical. And it's maybe well, go ahead. the The idea of the PDW is not to do what they're doing right there. It's not as an okay, right? Okay, what he's doing there, he's pulling it out. That's the idea of the PDW, or like for air crews or armor or you know Humvee drivers and stuff like that. It's not. Yeah, or you know, which they don't want to do a thing for it here, but maybe you're just hanging out in the mall. <laughs> it's designed as a backup weapon, not as a primary. Uh, yeah, you know, you're hanging out in the mall, or are they going to show this guy go know, down? You're walking down the block. Okay, nice brass hit in the ground. Three hundred blackout. See, see, see. I think when I was watching that video, someone said that like the ejection is not three hundred blackout, but then what's hit in the ground is three hundred blackout. It is a cute little gun, though. I got to give Sig credit. I mean, their 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 MCX platform is perfect for making smaller. I mean, we looked at it, and it's like, yeah, you know. But the requirement is very small. If you read the requirement for the overall length and closed length and and stuff, so it'll be interesting to see how how aside it's, from their cute little video how well it runs it sounds like it's specifically designed for like executive defense or whatever yeah it's like it's not for carrying every day it's for when you like you need a backup it, yeah you take somebody to whatever the the airport or whatever you have a you put something I'm, in surprised, your I'm surprised they didn't have a can on it because the requirement calls for a can also the picture yeah, is on the website yeah. a can. 
Yeah, so. you, you would definitely want it to be something suppressed. Um, lots of guys are asking for it to be a pistol, right? That makes it easy. Well, look, yeah. nowadays you do one of these numbers here and you're good to go, right? You see what the price is going to be of that? A lot uh, of, what, about $3,000? $3,700, <laughs> all those guys that went to Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's not pushing the pistol market. They care less about the pistol market. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, if they really want to sell it to civilians, which we have that conversation all the time, right? You know, are these companies really, do they want to sell stuff to civilians or are they just trying to sell everything to the military? They probably, they probably will make a pistol out of it. I mean, um, that would make yeah. sense because that does, just because they got a cool little gun doesn't mean that anybody will buy it in the military. Yeah, absolutely. And then if they do, they're not going to buy a bunch of it. Now, I think Sugar Bear wants to know, how many rounds does this 22 hold? Do you know that, Walter? It looks like I'm going to guess 250, or is yeah. it more? I don't remember, but it is a it is a good large quantity because that yeah. thing goes, that stuff goes through it fast. Yeah, yeah, that's a big. I mean, that's a big thing. Look at my head. I got a big meaty head. So that's just to give you scale there. So that looks like uh, I don't know. Baby face. Making, I'm looking it up because I have yeah. no idea. Yeah, right. I'm guessing 250. I'm guessing 250. Uh, it comes in 165, 177, 220, and 275 round magazines. There you go. Yeah, I remember seeing a tall, a real tall, thick mag they made for me. Yeah. So I haven't shot that yet, but, uh, you know, I can. Yeah, a lot of videos of it. I can. But, you, you know, since you, you mean. yeah, you guys, yeah, I, I absolutely will. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely will. Trust me. I will shoot it. And and I'm, we're going to come back to all of this, but we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. Here's something. Look, what do you think? What do you think this battery pack goes to? <laughs> <After a star. laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, you don't got nothing on me there, Hoss. Oh, boy. We have, we have, we brought out, have we brought out the beast? Have we finally ignited the beast? And there's a saw, soft, there's a saw pack. There, let's see here. Here's another saw pack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. Do you have a, a 249? That looks like a little change purse. <laughs> no, it, um, it's for the um, the Shrike. Oh, okay. Shrike? I don't know. They work for the Shrike. So, that's um, that, isn't that that's the upper? That's like an upper. Oh, uh, AR-15 upper? Yeah, belt fed upper for the uh, AR, AR M16. I have one of those. I, I would love to have one of those, but man, are they crazy expensive. <laughs> uh, I, 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 yeah, here's an adapter. Did you to, make a crazy trade again? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I, um. When he when 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 the Shrike was first offered and, and you had to put deposits down, I put a deposit down of a thousand dollars, and at that time I didn't have a thousand dollars in my name. I had to scrounge it all up, but um, but um, it took only it took nine years to get it. Holy crap! And then I had to pay. <laughs> so anyway, the price at that time, the buy-in price was twenty five hundred. That's you know? still pricey, even for but me. now. It's like at five, I think five thousand. Yeah, it's sitting right at five. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, you know, the reason why I was showing that, and we'll come back to it, but here, I'll, I'll just tease it a little bit so you guys can, <laughs> you guys can hang out. Check this bad boy out. That is cool. M249. Walter, have you, do, you know how to, do you know how to make one of these full auto? Um, I don't know how to make I've never done one. I mean, it's probably pretty straightforward, though. Is it, yeah. uh, is it 249 open bolt or closed bolt? Um, uh, I don't know. I think the originals are. I think the originals are open bolt because if not, they cook off. It was really hot. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. they were open bolt. So converting yeah. that closed bolt semi-auto into full auto is probably a pain in the ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a project that you know the Big Daddy Guns guys are taking yeah. on. Gas so any, an open bolt. Yeah. Ugh. So anyone who knows how to do that with this, we're we're gonna like tackle that. So. I think they have a kit or something like that, but they're missing some kind of information, they told me. Oh, okay. Or, or, or a piece or something like that. I think it's here, something here. They said that they're missing, so we got to figure that out because yeah. I've got to get this to be full auto, damn it. <laughs> You'll figure it out eventually. That's my mission, as you know, Walter. Anyone that I deal with must have full autos that I could deal with. So say it right here. Go ahead. Taurus TC. Is that, okay, is that full auto? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, I bet you it isn't. I just That's got so it. cute. I just got it today. Yeah. That's like a little puppy. And I had to do some modifications already. I had to polish the front end of it to, to make it more pocket friendly. So it was kind of sharp. What is this? The Taurus what? Um, TCP. TCP. 
It's a 380. Uh, what does the TCP stand for? Taurus. Not a clue. Something compact pistol. Compact pistol. Compact pistol, probably. I, I'm making that up. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> compact pocket, maybe? I don't know. Take it was care uh, really inexpensive. Really cheap, so that's why it caught my eye. And what'd you pay for it? Uh, um, this one here was one fifty-eight from Bud's Guns. Shop. Okay, is, now hold it up close to the camera because you said you did some work. Total crap pistol. Yeah, total crap pistol. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, just hold the muzzle towards the camera. Just go ahead and muzzle us. It's okay. Just on the angle because it looks like you ground off something in the front. Yeah, I had to polish the the front edges here were really sharp. I was kind of thinking because I like to carry the gun in my pocket. I was I was seeing the front. The front edge is wearing a hole through a pocket, so I I took it on the on the um, Scotch Bright wheel and just kind of rounded off the corners. Okay. Maybe I'll just park it or or give it a Cerakote or or Duracote or something. I don't know. Tasty carp pie. I think I think um, I think a nice pink will be will be a good color for you. Pink Cerakote know. or Duracote? Yeah. That would that would look really yeah, good. Nice, a nice I mean, pink. I, I was carrying around that the Glock that I got from you, the three eighty. Uh, Three eighty two, okay. So you like a three eighty as your EDC? I think. Well, I like something small because I'm putting it in my pocket. So, you know, here's the difference between the Glock and the Taurus. The Glock is kind of a pig compared to the Taurus. So, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be upset when I. Yeah, say there's that. a lot of folks out there that are going to say this to you, Walter. You're going to be better off with that Glock. <laughs> Well, you know, you know what? but hey, if you run it, it, listen, you you have the skills. Run it, see how it is. All right. I'll we'll see what you happens. Know? No. See how the the whatever 380 you use is there a particular brand of 380 you like using? I know they've improved 380 a little bit recently, right? Well, no, the main thing with any of these guns is hitting center of mass. So, um That's the hardest thing. <laughs> I'm really bad at those little tiny guns. It takes a lot of practice. Yeah. The um, most uh that that um G42 that's the most accurate lightweight like polymer 380 I've ever fired. Yeah. So unless you go to an all metal 380, I can hit the crap out of something with the uh, with the G42. Now um, the Taurus is what is that? That's polymer. polymer? It's got a, a steel slide and a in a plastic frame. Yeah. So we'll have to shoot it and see which one's more accurate. So. But you know you can't. I think that if you're gonna do 380, that the uh, G42 is pretty good. Yeah, it's just it's just big. Yeah. For for a for a 380, it's big. So. I mean, in your hands, look at the look at the size of your hands, Walter. My pocket, dude. My pocket, man. I don't like to get, wear a pistol. Listen, get big boy pocket. <laughs> I don't want no baggy damn pants. You like you no. wear skinny jeans. Like all the hipsters. No, my, my ass never been in a pair of skinny jeans. <laughs> his, thighs, cool, his like, thighs can't go through the damn skinny <laughs> jeans. I don't even know what, what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> those th have you ever seen those things? Yeah. It's like he, he looks like Popeye. <laughs> yeah, look at like Walter has <laughs> Walter has the forearms and the and the and the uh the calves, the calves of Popeye. I am what I am. Arr. Yeah. Um, yeah, I eat me spinach. I hate spinach, so I don't do spinach. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. There you go. Okay, you got an AK. Yeah, you know. It used to be full auto before they cut up and shipped to the U.S. But um, it's a Yugoslavian, um, it's the M70. It's a Stava, yeah, M70 uh, B1. So it was okay. a, kit, a kit gun that I put together in an afternoon, and it runs good. It's a weld job, you said, right? Yep, welded together. I know some AK people are cringing, <laughs> but um, you it know, works. when you it, start cringing, just pick up the HK. It's all welded together, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we got the 904 dudes hanging out with us also. We got a bunch of people there. Listen, everyone, including you 904 dudes, I know you guys are young, but listen listen up to me close, closely here. Hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Share this. <laughs> Okay, 50th episode. I'm going to probably say that a couple times. Okay, let me get to some questions. Um, someone wants to know, does the Echo Trigger fit the MPX? Did we, did we put any of I don't I, think we put that in. I haven't tried it in mine. Um, uh, that's a good question. I think, uh, did I see a video just recently uh, where somebody was doing that? I can't remember. Franklin um, Armory, binary works. Yeah, you could put a lot of triggers in there. The thing is, you you probably want to be careful because that MPX is pretty brutal. I know it's broken some triggers out there. When you get to a high number uh, round count, 
I think somewhere between a thousand, two thousand, it, it breaks up a lot of triggers. But you know, it's, um, I mean, it's it's not gas operated. It's just blowback, isn't it? Like it, most nine millimeters. Is the MPX is um is a gas is gas operated. Gas yeah. operated nine mil. Yes, they they got oh. they got all silly and put a little gas system. Yeah, in. so that's weird. Been, that's been one of the major problems with that gun. Yeah, that's what's been breaking up triggers and stuff like that. I don't think the well, guys leave. Just fine on nine millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you seen what's going on with the Evos? No. What are they doing with the Scorpions now? People's getting people are having auto batteries with the Evo. Whoa, that's not good. Yeah, cracking the cracking the receivers and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. Don't know, don't know why, but. That's what I've seen. I've seen Which the, is that the new gen of the Evos that you're talking about? The new one they just put out, or that's just all of them? We got to look into that because uh, I'm not oh, too. You're asking me about what holster for that torch. I was just about to say, I'm guessing just the pocket. I know the perfect holster for you, Walter. I know the perfect thing. Go down to Home Depot. Get some duct tape. Get some duct tape. Ah, get you some I duct get, tape. I, all I gotta do is walk in the other room here and get some duct you tape. Got plenty. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you make your holster. Like the brothers in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. There was if a you're guy. Doing that though, you got to have like seven different rounds in the magazine. <laughs> and we're not making this up. There was actually a dude that got arrested. I think it was that Florida that I was. In Florida. Where yes. was I reading this article? Uh, wait, wait, what are you arrested for? We talked about it uh, yesterday before we went on and completely forgot about it. Yeah, it, I think it was on the firearm blog. Hold on a second. Let me scroll. Let me scroll down here. Yes. Oh, so check out the firearm blog. There's a guy who did a DIY duct tape holster. Oh, God. That's the, that's the title of it. Uh, so here, I'm going to read this article. So it says, uh, duct tape is used for pretty much anything. Remember the Mythbusters? They made a working boat using duct tape as the skin. They even made an airplane. Well, five-time felon needed a holster for his Raven MP25. Boynton Beach Police oh, Department posted this photo. So if you look at it, you'll I'll see... Can I do one while we're five? That's like those little like Saturday night specials that are yeah. more Raven, likely to blow Raven, up and shit, aren't they? I'll post I'll post it up here. Yeah, MP <laughs> That's there a, you go. I'll post that up in the thing so you yeah, guys can take a look at that. Raven, the, Raven, thing. the Raven's now called Jimenez or whatever the heck it was. Yeah. Jimenez. Yeah. Jimenez. He's gone through the owner of that company has gone through like seven different names. Oh yeah, it's flopped and flopped and flopped. Yeah. 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 So listen, you can't, you know, I mean obviously this guy got in trouble. He got caught out there. But you know what? He, he's got some decent carpet. You know, some some skills there. He made a little a little safety strap that goes over wow, it. He actually did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he made it nice and tight so it doesn't fall That's out of there. That's a legit looking holster. Yeah, you, gotta, you know, come on, you got to give credit where credit's due. He's inventive. He didn't want to lose his pretty little raven. Come on, man. Yeah, I I have you seen got videos the, of got the all seriousness. Thing. Of cops taking How am I gonna firearms do? from guys that have like revolvers that'll have like five of the six rounds are different. <laughs> They're all 380s, but like one's a hollow point, one's a full metal jacket, one's lead nose. Like, <laughs> now, you don't want to you don't want to waste your hollow point on the first round, you know. That's you, right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a variable strategy, man. That's a variable strategy. You might need that so. hollow point for the coup d'état shot. <laughs> yeah, you know, it depends on who you're going up against. You might need different rounds. Because hopefully they come in the right order. Because <laughs> if someone comes at you in the wrong order, you're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Brian Long says he has a Jimenez 22 and it's horrible. Worst gun. Worst gun. I got one. I got so. a, I got one. I'm going to make a barrel for and put a can on it. So, oh, God, uh, there God. you go. There you go. That's a nice little project. Just for fun, yeah. Yeah. So, are you making a holster over there? Is that why you got out of the duct tape? You're actually making a holster. Well, you know, I'm I'm not real handy with stuff. I'd have to think about it a little bit before I started on it, because, you know, I don't want to waste these pretty colors. You know. So. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you got the purple, the purple duct tape, man. All All I need is some green, and I can make a Mardi Gras holster. I was gonna say <laughs> purple, green, and gold, man. That's a, I could drop it off down there off of Bourbon Street, and some little hoodlum will pick it up, and start shooting. <laughs> God. <laughs> man. That's, that's all hey, right, by, that's all right by the project. Well, he the, knows you. You know, didn't did you live in Louisiana or something? Um, no, Peggy. My well, this the seat that Peggy's from Louisiana. Yes. Okay, there you go. Yeah, and she's so. from New Orleans too. So I've 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 been in New Orleans quite a few times, and um, there's a lot of great places in New Orleans, and a lot of places that suck big time. So yeah, um, places that you just cannot walk. 
<laughs> you don't know, you know, you don't walk in there. I was going to say, I'm gonna let's just put there. it this way. Uh, well, let me ask you this question. So when you're walking through those places, you're going to have that little Taurus <laughs> 380 in your pocket. <laughs> when I go down to French Quarter, I'm always carrying. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but is it like a little 380? <laughs> you know, you know what? Nine, nine times out of ten, all I got to do is get it out, and they get that. They get. They understand this. Okay. They understand this. Okay. <laughs> this is the universal language in the French Quarter. Oh, okay. Or any, so that's like your ghetto pass. You just take. You well, just I mean, take that point, out. Like. If you point this at somebody and they keep coming, then they're gonna get. They're gonna get a free trip to Charity Hospital. Oh, okay. In New Orleans, everybody. In, in, if you're from New Orleans, you know where Charity is. So. But you know, I could just imagine you in a completely different scenario where you know, like um, where the, where you know the whole "that's not a knife, this is a knife." No. <laughs> Like you pull that out, and then some dude pulls out the chopper, and he's like, dude, "He ain't gonna get a chance to pull the chopper out. out. If he he starts digging in his drawers, he ain't gonna get the chopper out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's gonna be he's gonna be get a he's gonna get a blood lube job when he gets that you know when that blood starts. No, he ain't gonna get the chopper. Out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what if the chopper's already out? Well, you know there is there is a thing called you know. You know when to hold them, when to show yeah, them. The, there's a thing called get the hell out of dodge. Right, right, right. When, when it, run know, away. <laughs> you know, if it's you against the Abrams, you know, I'm not going to take the Abrams on barehanded. So, you know, I'm yeah. going to hit the other. How about this? Don't go there. No, you go down the quarter. Now, there's parts of the quarter you don't want to walk too far in one direction. You know, mm -hmm. that's where a lot of tourists get in trouble. They wander in the wrong way. And then oh, they wander. There's, the so there's no signs that go, um, Tourists, please don't go past this point <laughs> because your experience will get really real. <laughs> it used to be. I don't know if it's, I don't know if, I don't know if the um, after Katrina. I don't know if they rebuilt the um, the the projects, but the projects used to be on one side of the quarter. And yeah, uh, Louis Armstrong, they call him, I guess, the projects. And you don't want to. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> So Lawrence Lerwick, the guy that guessed the gun, says, take tape, tear off a piece, fall back, stick on one side of the gun, then place sticky side to, <laughs> to Walter's head to cover with hat for concealment. <laughs> <laughs> That's a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to do, Walter. Let's see. We'll just tape it forward, and all I got to do is like, just pull the trigger, kind of, you know? Like a GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> somebody yeah. said, oh, somebody else said I could put it in my hat. So let's see here. Oh boy, ow. you just made me blind. Ow. Oh my <laughs> wait a second. Man, next time before you do that, make sure I pull out my eclipse glasses, okay? <laughs> 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 All right, okay. We're having we're just having fun. See, we're just joking. We're just joking, YouTube sensor dude. Yo, man, what's up? You know. When the just bear in mind the YouTube Nazis are gonna be watching all of this. It's gonna be like today they're always sending me the videos that are never gonna be mon never ever will these videos be ever monetized again. I'm gonna start posting those emails when they send them to me. Like oh, we oh. have reviewed this and this will never be acceptable. <laughs> they said never? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, see, let me explain something to you. This new never. policy they have going, when they make like when they turn off those videos you get one time <laughs> one request you put in that request and they review it that's it for you no soup for you <laughs> after that this is not this is not quite on the same order but yesterday you know with the eclipse uh -huh. uh, on facebook I'm, I'm a member of a machinist board on facebook okay Somebody i thought it'd be cute to use his balls like the moon to block the sun <laughs> literally this guy there was a set of a scrotum that was <laughs> was how, how do you take a picture of your own scrotum? <laughs> that's, 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 that's some like, real talent. That's a, yeah, that's some serious acrobatics. <laughs> it was gross. All right. Or <laughs> the worst the worst thing is that you get one of your boys to take the picture of your scrotums. <laughs> the only thing, he's either, he either did that or so, he had so practice luckily, for it. Luckily for humanity, Facebook pulled it. Oh, you! I was gonna say, man, did you save this for the rest of us that don't want to see it? I don't need to see no guys hairy balls. You know. <laughs> More than block out the sun. Oh god! But he was he was upset about it too that they pulled his video. <laughs> they pulled his junk off of Facebook. Because you know, I mean, that could have been his one moment to go super viral. You know what I mean? 
well he went super he went super away so yeah um, so this is what this is what you welders this is the welder forum you said on a machinist forum machinist forum that's what you machinist dudes do machinist forum a lot of these guys start their quite their 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 things out hey fuckers what are you all doing <laughs> every it sounds like you're on 4chan you know every uh, every other word is a uh, the Anglo-Saxon slang for sexual intercourse. Boom, 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 boom. It's like, hey, fuckers, what are you doing? You know, you guys are a bunch of fuckers. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Did you guys, this is just like a quick news thing here that I saw. Did you guys see, um, this was in, what is this? Uh, the Washington Post. Germany's orange ecstasy pills have Trump's name and face all it. over them. You saw oh. that, yeah. Orange ecstasy pills. Happy pills, yeah. With Trump. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so somebody's supporting Trump and, well, no. and getting all super friendly. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, Have any of you guys ever taken ecstasy? No. Hell no. Nope. Yeah. That stuff's okay. getting get out of me. Yeah. It's scary. I've seen I've seen dudes that take that stuff. The so to be perfectly honest, the high doesn't scare me as much as like the X blues afterwards. You always hear about people um, that take like MDMA or ecstasy. And you hit like a deep depression afterwards. Shit scares the, the hell out of me. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. There's lots of scary all around. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember like the way that I could always tell there was this one guy that um, when I was doing like the the hippity hop music that I used to do. Um, <laughs> the hippity hop. Yeah. This is what Walter's people call it. Down with the hippity hop. Yeah. You make it what? that hippity hop music. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I was doing, yeah, I did I, use us to, white folk over here, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Please, Walter, stop making us blind for crying out loud. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, yeah, we were we were producing a song, and this guy came over, and uh, he was sweating profusely. Yeah. And when people say someone's sweating profusely, yeah. this guy is the poster child. When you, you take ecstasy, anything? you sweat yeah. profusely. You can always tell someone who is like on on ecstasy. Yeah, yeah, because they're just sweating. And he, and he, this is the funny thing. He had one of those uh, like uh, water, like gallon water bottles, and he's drinking the water and sweating profusely. Like what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I don't know the whole ecstasy thing. What's it supposed to make you do? It, it brightens all the colors and it gives you a sense of euphoria. Makes uh, you love everyone. You can yeah, totally it just gives go you euphoria, but because chemically because you're getting so much like extra dopamine during it your body overloads and then when you come off the ecstasy Boom. you don't have enough dopamine and you hit the x blues and that yeah. that is oh i'll, I'll give you i'll give weeks. you one example that should scare you about it this is how a lot of dudes wind up messing with other dudes <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> when, while they're on ecstasy <laughs> so no, there you no. go it makes you just like i guess it just drops the inhibitions or something i'll uh, tell you no something thanks. right now i need my damn inhibitions <laughs> <laughs> that'll save your ass from getting poked in the backside you know <laughs> yeah I, i'll uh, yeah so let's uh yeah you know this is the 50th episode people come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what you get. Prepare yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Not safe for work. If you're working, you turn this off right now. Yeah. We were all we were all serious last night. Now it ain't no serious no more. <laughs> no, no. It's a good thing Kevin's not here because he would just be telling us. Yeah, he'd be telling us about ourselves. Did you guys? Um, I don't know how many people out there. Where does the Powerball extend to? Is it six hundred fifty million dollars or something? No, seven hundred millions. You can do it here. You can buy Powerball tickets here. I think. Yeah, here in Florida, you can get the yeah, Powerball. They, you know, they kicked Illinois out of it because they couldn't contribute any money to it. Oh, really? <laughs> the broke ass don't have no money. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, Powerball. Do you guys even play that? No, I play lotto. Nope. Yeah. yeah. I, if if I can even remember, I will do it when it's like a big, massive number and I see it in the news. Hey, hey, there's but most of the time I don't even remember. I just like to go yeah. home. <laughs> I think I won one time. I think I won 80 bucks playing lottery. I mean, the one time I was, you know, and that was just sheer luck. I mean, I there was no no magic to it or anything. Yeah. So, yeah, um, luck does not know me. I have no such thing <laughs> as luck. Lola has the luck. Obviously, she's married to me, so she's pretty. I, I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that said it's coming. <laughs> Hey, yeah, here, so. here's, here's some gun news, and I happen yeah. to have one of these ordered. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, the HMG STG 44. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, the, yes. 
I have one of those on order. Oh, you do? Oh, cool. Okay. Paid in full. Wow, nice. Oh, you paid it up and everything. Okay, cool. Well, so that means you might actually get it. They wanted the whole shooting match. So um, they're starting to ship them, actually. So I'm, um, I didn't order it till after this year's SHOT Show because I, I, I was a little leery at first. Okay, because we saw those guys at SHOT Show. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Hill and Mac Gunworks. Correct. Correct. Hill and Mac. They're also the guys that are doing the. Um, they do uh, reactive steel, steel targets. And, oh, I was just yeah. gonna say, I thought they're the ones that are doing the set me C parts. Yeah. Set well. me up. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to build one of those, but they've jacked the prices up on their parts kit way too much. Yeah, I have. I have way two, too much. I have two of those parts kits. Oh God, dude! But okay. you gotta I sense another them. project coming on, Walter. What's that? Another project. You said you have two of those parts kits. That's right. Yes, I do. So what's up? I mean, you know, we got Babyface. You know, <laughs> well, let me see here. He's a, that's a, he's a part kit building machine. This that's we need to put we need to put Babyface back to work because Babyface has been on vacation here. <laughs> this whole summer, Babyface is pretty much has he made a video? Have you made a video, Patrick? Not all summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We gotta get you making some kind of video. Okay, Walter, what are you showing us? That's oh, that um, new uh, new Army Colt that I got that needs a little rehab work. Yeah, there's that one. Yep, yep. Um, I also have a new pair. Of, I told you I got a new pair of uh, Luger grips, but they're coming from Lithuania or Latvia. Whoa. Yeah, they were on eBay. I'm from Latvia. So I, are I, they I, new production? Yeah, they're repo plastic okay. ones. So, and they're supposed to be half. I guess they're hopefully they're halfway decent. They sell a shitload of them. So, um, yeah. So the Lithuanians, that's who's making those. They, huh? they make the good, the good Luger grips. Love you, love you. But um, yeah, the Hill and Mac gun. Um, I'm, I'm actually waiting for that. I, I've got it ordered in seven six two by thirty nine. Nice. And um, um, uh, so I got a picture of it on actually on the firearms blog. They're talking about it. Um, and they're supposed to that's be cool. posting, They're supposed to be posting dates of when you ordered and when you'll get your gun. So let's see here. I pay. Ooh, ship dates. Oh, so, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta turn the audio off. Gosh darn it! Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, pause it. What is with this audio crap? Um. Anyways, there's an advertisement in front of it, so imagine that. Let's see. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's gonna be something really cool. Yeah, we're gonna shoot the dog poop out of that one. Yeah. yeah there's gonna be. A whole, um, are no we make, are no, we whole, it? no no holds barred uh, testing on that one. So. Are we making it full auto? Is it gonna be full auto, Walter? This is this is just put this. It's supposed to have an HK trigger pack in it, so um, I guess it's possible. I mean, I'm sure it'll get done by some people. I don't well, know. Um, so okay, if it's gonna have that, doesn't someone? Doesn't one of those companies that makes? Um, I think it's isn't it Franklin Armory? Aren't they making a trigger for that? For the HK? Yeah, I thought they were. Oh, like a I binary so. one? Yeah, hold on. Let me look this up. I'll talk amongst talk amongst yourselves because I think oh, Franklin yeah. Armory. If it shoots, Franklin Armory uh, HK, yeah HK trigger. Hold I have, on. I have um, yeah auto. HK ninety one. So I think it's a ninety one ninety three. Okay, and it's available now. It's six hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. That for HK ninety one ninety three and MP five. Okay, Ooh. I have um, full auto trigger groups that I bought. Mm -hmm. Back when they were dirt cheap, uh, it'll be interesting to see if that'll somehow drop into that, into that. Um, yeah. So the so the Franklin Armory should also be able to drop in there, right? Well, you would think so. It depends how that. Yeah, we'll see. I'm okay. Up, yes, so sir. yeah, you know, we'll we'll get our hands on one of those, man. But we're gonna run that puppy. I got a lot of AK ammo, so. Okay. Yeah. That that's gonna be that'll be a cool video. It's getting cool, so we need to get back. Like as the weather cools down, oh, it's yeah. not cool now, but it's heading in that direction. Yeah, I gotta uh, I gotta yeah. get the uh, clandestine testing facility. Also, uh, gotta haul some dirt in and make the backstop bigger. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, nice, that's nice. That's what twenty millimeter is gonna rock at. I think. <laughs> yeah. You also need to put up some uh, some canopies. <laughs> Oh, shade, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I was, I was you have to put an ice machine. <laughs> I wanted to build a um, I wanted to build a like a real shooting bench area um, over that area. But I was also thinking about something you could actually move, you know, down the range. So if you want to shoot at fifty, shoot at fifty and not. Yeah. yeah. Now here's something I saw the other day that I was thinking would be great for either that range or the hacienda. 
Yeah. Reefer containers, reefer containers. Oh, a, a C container. Yeah, refrigerated For, ones. I just, I just like saying reefer. <laughs> That's what I saw one somewhere, and the guy was talking to the guy, and I was like, "Wow, what is this? Con what is this container?" And he's like, "Oh, it's a reefer container." It's like really, <laughs> they were so shipping, they were <laughs> shipping reefer in this. <laughs> but no, it's I knew, I knew a that. Con a Connex container. That's yeah. We should get. Um, I actually know a place we can get those from. How much? Um, I don't good, know, man. I think good, good price or not good price. Well, what's a good price? I think I think he said it was like the golden uh, rate for a twenty footer is about two grand. I think yes, that's what he was saying. Somewhere in the two grand area, because I think he was saying if you want one that's a little shabby, it's like fifteen hundred. <laughs> one that got old in the room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, wouldn't that be cool? Like we get one of those, and then we because they're they're insulated and everything, right? Not, not all of them. Not all of them, no. Well, that's the one I'm talking about. Why would it be a reefer container if it's not insulated? Okay, re okay reefer is referring to refrigerated. Yes. Okay, you're correct. 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 I'm sorry. I, I stand corrected. So. <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing with you. But yeah, wouldn't that be cool? We get we get those, and then we cut like we make flaps, so we can oh. cut it open. So you can open it up. Yeah, we can open it up and shoot, it, and then we can drop it back down. We can like I don't know, put a generator or I don't. I, obviously, solar panels are not going to do enough. No, no. Well, we could put the generator there and have some AC. <laughs> now, now, you know, you know what? You could buy a military uh, air conditioner unit that sets on the side of one of those, and an air military generator that run that four hundred cycle air conditioner, and um, yeah, you're good to go. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what we need so we can shoot every day. Every no matter how hot it is out there, we're out there just shooting. Well, hell, that's the case. I'm going to have me a a, a kegerator. Inside that thing too, so I can have a little brewski and have a. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, no shooting. Oh, that's after we're done shooting. Oh. Don't be like, don't be like Babyface. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, Babyface is not shooting. He's just showing guns, right? <laughs> He's just showing guns, and <laughs> also, I don't know, what are you even drinking, Babyface? Is that this? That's probably something non-alcoholic. This is. Uh, what is it? After party pale ale by Treble Brewing. Yeah. Don't you think you're pale enough? Don't drink pale ale. I can go get the amber ale. Make me a little redder. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, <laughs> no. You don't need that. Okay. We got some questions here. Walter, is that a Stern Gewehr 44 copy you were talking about, Chris B? Yes. Correct. 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 And I and I I've I've been jonesing for a, a STG for quite some time. I have some parts, but I don't have all the pieces to put together a post sample. Um, I do have one of those 22s that they made. And they look damn close um, to the originals. I'm gonna so, grab a charger for the Mac. You right back. Okay, so so you've got a 22 version. Nice. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Hey, I'm maybe. not even gonna say it. I'm gonna be nice this time. Is it full auto? No, I didn't say it. Well, I was just you know thinking what? it. <laughs> the one, if you go on YouTube and look that up, there's some badass videos of people have converted them. This things run like a run like a sewing machine. <laughs> yeah, really cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's. That's pretty cool. I was looking at uh, where was I? I was looking at some video with the Gatling, like a Gatling gun set up with uh, 1022s, the one that you crank. But you know that that wasn't fast enough for me. No. The cranking thing, that's not fast yeah. enough. We need like actual full auto 22 awesomeness. Yeah, that that little one you got sitting next to you runs like a scalded dog. Scalded yeah. dog too. Yeah, we can shoot this. We can shoot this thing. Oh. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, we can shoot it. So, I would like to. When are you when are you coming over? What are you doing this weekend? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on this weekend. So uh, taking your son back to college. Oh, yep. Yeah, gotta take gotta take angst back to school. Oh yes. yeah, I'll well, start back up again. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on this weekend. He was in the summer session. Is so he back? Gonna, is he gonna be back in the dorm? Yep, back in the dorm for reals this time. Not the baby summer session. This is going to be the real, the real deal. On air, everybody's there. Yeah, in the, the in the co-ed dorm and all that craziness. All the, oh, yeah, all the, I was going to say all the chickadees are all there and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know he's got to get his skills up. I don't know, man. The uh, you know, the gift of gab has apparently like skipped a generation right now because <laughs> uh, I don't see any gabbing going on. Yeah. Well, sometimes the 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 other the opposite sex. Kind of uh, oh, starts the conversation. Yeah, that's what I told him. I was like, you don't have to say, you don't have to say, just you know, just say, hey, how you doing? 
How you doing? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Yeah. How you doing? What's up? And then just nod your head, pretend you're listening. Next thing, and smile. Yeah, yeah. And next thing you, you know, know, you know, then they're like, "Oh, he's so he's so attentive." Next thing you know, he's quitting school. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're not having that. <laughs> that is not happening. I know. So, I know. Yeah, so um, some uh, Lawrence Lairwalk wants to know, is the double stack 10 millimeter from Rock Island worth it? Double stack 10 millimeter. Was that, the double is, stack 10 is from that, Rock Island. Is that an XD platform? Is that what that is? What are they? Um, is it the XD or 19, uh, 1911? I think it's 1911. Yeah, probably 1911 okay. kind of thing. Here's some, um, here's some uh, trivia for you, uh, 10 millimeter per person. When I, when I say Bren 10, who carried a Bren 10? Um, the bridges, right? Okay, Ben. So far as I know, Ben Ten Brent, is a cartoon. TV Ten. cartoon. This, is, this is '80s trivia. So the Bren Nash Bridges had a Bren Ten in uh, that TV show, didn't he? Who? Mass the TV show. This wasn't a real person. Mass Bridges. Nash Bridges. Yeah, that was a TV no, show from the no, '80s. Well, no, um, somebody else did, and uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm the I'm, in the '80s. In the '80s, yeah, '80s, and it's iconic. Um, um, was, it, was it in Hawaii? I'm saying some South. Oh, Miami Vice. And who was it? Who cared? Uh, I'm guessing it wasn't Tubbs. No, who was it? <laughs> What's his name? Son, son, Sonny Crockett. Son, Sonny Crockett carried it. Armour Mitten Axis. Chris B. takes it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don Johnson, there you go. Did he carry a, yeah, did he carry a Brimpton? Hold on. I got to look this up now. You know what the hardest part about a brand 10 one is? You own one? No, that we're all looking this up. Getting a magazine for it. Because I guess they didn't make a lot of magazines. So, um, but yeah, that was a uh, old school brand, uh, old school 10 millimeter. So, anyway. I it's, I wish I could get one. Those oh, yeah, there is a picture of him and his glowing, flowing locks. Don Johnson. Yep. Yeah. DJ. Yep. yep. Okay. I, we always, I always used to watch Miami Vice when I was a uh, when I was a youngling. So Miami Vice was a good show. It's a good yeah, show. It was you know it was cool. You know they always did cool stuff. So yeah, they always yeah. had cool music and you know yeah makes you know I remember I wanted to live on a boat for a minute. <laughs> like, you know, who doesn't want to live on a boat? <laughs> what was it? What was it? What was a uh, Sunny Crockett's? Uh, what was the two girls are on there? There was a a black girl and a Hispanic girl and a, and. And I'm trying to think what the Hispanic girl's name was. Um, no idea. Or Cuban, whatever she was. I, you know. But anyways, um, somebody else. I, I know that the movie was like a big letdown. Yeah, that was a piece of. When they made a movie, they, you know, I would have just been happy. <laughs> whatever happened to? I, I mean, obviously Don Johnson's still out there. Is well, he? What's he doing happen? now? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever happened to Tubbs? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Here. I'm gonna do Miami Vice. Where are they now? Okay, here here's another one. Some music trivia for that Miami Vice thing. Um, um, one of our favorite rockers, our pro Second Amendment rocker guys, he was on Miami Vice. Vice, who was that? Um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Little Miss. Yeah. His song. His song is Little Miss Dangerous. That's the one they, they played on the song, on the show. Little Miss Dangerous. Um, Sweaty Teddy. Ted Nugent. Yeah. It was in an episode of uh, the, the Nuge. The Nuge, yeah. Okay, I've seen the, the two Nuge. chicks, but I don't know. I don't know what their names are. Oh, oh Olivia Brown is doing payday loan commercials on cable. Oh, saying. apparently, apparently, Tubbs is still out there looking good. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I. I yeah, that was one of those shows. That and the A Team. We used to watch the A Team when I live. I lived in a house. <laughs> I live with like three guys in a house, you know. It was just a typical man, man, man pad. We always watch the A team because it was just so yeah. Funny. Philip Michael Thomas, he's got a big old beard now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, A team, yeah, that was a good one. Lots of good stuff in the A team. You know, I mean, I like the A team. I also was a big fan of Knight Rider. Oh man, he does have a big beard. You know, I didn't watch too much Knight Rider because I thought it was kind of corny, but. How dare you, Walter? <laughs> well, you know, how dare you? Here, here, I'm calling that corny. When this on on a team, you could hide behind a 55 gallon drum and get shot with a 220. <laughs> and that just 
No, the A team was cool. The A team was cool. I'm not. I'm not knocking. You know, unless it was filled with oil or water, that's the only way to get away with that one. But um, yeah, there was lots of good shows during the '80s, man. We just won't get Magnum PI. Oh yeah, I used to watch Magnum. Yeah, he was a cool dude, man. Magnum. Yeah. This, we just won't get good shows like that anymore. TV shows they put up now are just crap. Who wants to watch? You got to watch everything like on, uh, you know, HBO or something to get well, some also, good shows. Too, it's all ninety percent of it's all these got this political side thing going on. You know, they're poking they're poking somebody all the time or some group or something. It's like that's not what I want. I don't want to be entertained with that political garbage. I don't want. I don't, I don't yeah. like. I try to watch um, the Defenders, and Babyface is going to get mad about this. Totally unwatchable. Is that the one on? That's on Netflix or something. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah, my uh, my. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's on Netflix. It has um, it has Daredevil. Yeah, they're watching and Luke uh, Cage. Peggy and Peggy and my son watch that stuff. That stuff's unwatchable to me, man. It's bullshit. <laughs> you what, know, the huh? The Defenders. All those, all those, a lot of those Marvel shows that are on there just crap. Well, I, I think you know, um, I I can't. The Walking Dead 904 says, no, I'm not a Walking Dead guy. So I watched Walking Dead for the first couple of seasons, and then I was like, okay. It was oh. good. The whole zombie, the whole zombie thing yeah. was a good sales thing for a while. Oh, God. Yeah, but, you know, at some point it just gets tiring. I mean, come on now. Like, there's just extra zombies. If you have the zombie apocalypse, the population of human beings going down. <laughs> Well, and you know, after the zombies you kill, there's just more zombies. You know what I like? There was a there was a um, a funny version of that. And I'm trying to uh, something Z. Planet Z. No. No, there's a no. There's another. There's another one that was on. Um, there was a funny takeoff on the uh, Walking Dead, and it was called what's it called? Uh, Was it a spinoff or just uh, somebody? Yeah, it's a, it's a TV show, and I'm trying to remember what it's called, but uh, I think uh, Z Nation. Yeah, Z Nation. Z Nation. Z Nation. There you go. Who said that? Um, Home Runner and Ken. First Ken one. Home. Home Runner. <laughs> okay, there you go. Good, awesome Duh. news right there. <laughs> There's a does. Z Nation. Yeah, <laughs> you should give those guys give those guys something, Walter. <laughs> Well, More patches for you. Something. Not, not, yeah, 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 yeah. Some, uh, some uh, Trump rooster patches. I, I don't have any patches left. I have to get some patches and all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, if you need to get patches made, I know where to go. So, is Patcher is Walter giving out patches for all these quizzies? <laughs> so yeah, he's giving it out for those. Yeah. Okay, right, Walter. There you go. Sure. Sure. <laughs> What's his gonna? Okay, what do we think about the Mill Serp 911? Oh, um, 1911, 1911, excuse me, 911. I wish they would make a Mill Serp to happen. No, no, the stuff's gonna come out through the CMP. You're talking about that? Yep. Yeah, 1911. That's, that's gonna be cool when it happens. I, I think some people are gonna be disappointed at the prices, though. But, um, I, why? Why are we gonna be disappointed be, at the prices? There'll be different grades of guns, there'll be the, the, Collectors versus the you know off the rack. The rack grade, the rack grade yeah. guns are the lowest ones, and then you got like um, I could show you M1 Grand that's a rack grade. I bought one from CMP. They're rough. And one that's up the little hill, the food chain a little higher, nicer stock, and then there's the ones that are like all gone through and reparkerized and all that stuff. Um, I'm more a rack grade, middle of the gr ground kind of guy. I kind of like to see the patina. So I told you, the, do you know what the middle of the ground prices are going to be, or you don't? They know haven't that announced anything. They haven't said anything yet. They, I don't even think they. I don't even know if they've actually transferred the guns yet. I, I doubt it. There was something that went through that was on the news about Congress approving the money to do the transfer. So um, it's going to happen. You just got to be patient. You know. And also, yeah. when it does happen, you need to be a member of a of a of a CMP approved mm -hmm. gun organization or club. And then so that way, when it happens, you can fill your paperwork out and get it going because it'll be a it'll be a freaking. It'll be a frenzy when those things get. <laughs> so Walter, you did that for all of us, right? What got you joined up? Or yeah, you're up? in that thing, so you can order for all. Of, or you only get one per. It, I have a feeling, you know, with with the, with the Garands, they let you order as many as you wanted. I think at first, and then they. Now we're up to ten a year at most. Yeah, I think something like that. And then, oh my God. Um, I ordered it once. I think four. My dad wanted a couple, and I got a couple more just to have, and. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, what was happening? A lot of people were buying these things and turning around and taking them a gun show and selling them. Yeah, 
So, Here's uh, what I think. I think we should all get one. Oh yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and then like fix them up and then compete against oh, each I'm other. Fix it. Did you did you ever see the? No, yeah, uh, fix it. Okay, so we just all get them and then and then compete against each other with them. You'll, you'll kill the value if you fix it up. Yeah, that's you can't true. fix it. Yeah, you have to leave it. And that's yeah. just a real beater, you know. But yeah, you, uh, my my rack grade gun when I ran the serial number was made in December 1941. I'm not, oh, not. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm leave that alone. And it's it's like a six digit serial number, which is low for a, yeah. for a um, for a grand. So no, I'm not doing anything to it, besides shooting it. So yeah. What was that, babyface? Did you guys see? Uh, I talked to Hank about this a little bit. Did you guys see the uh, M45A1s that came back from the Marines? And yeah, nicely, so, nicely graffiti eyes. Yeah. So the uh, um, the Marines were unhappy with the Cerakote finish that they got on their M45A1s. This was like six months ago. They were unhappy because the Cerakote was wearing too quickly. Uh, so they sent a couple thousand of them back to Colt to get refinished. Colt, instead of re-Cerakoting them, scrapped all of them and sent them a new set using their like new finish. Um, but they, they scratched out the M45A1 and sold them on the, on the collector's market for like 900 bucks each. Is that but, the M45? The 1911s, the M45. Oh, oh, oh. Those oh. are the, the new 1911s that, they, that the Marines got. Uh, um, okay. But... The Marines, being Marines, had put shit all over the 1911s. <laughs> so some people got their guns in from Colt, and they had, like, Sharpie dicks drawn down the side with, like, come <laughs> out. Nice. Yeah, it was amazing. I really wish I would have gotten one. That's, that, that's cool. You know, it's like getting the old um, – it's like getting one of these Serb guns, and they've got all the, the Serb uh, um, crest on them and everything. This one doesn't have a drop of, of, of scribble on it, but some of them are all – Oh, they come with the stickers of the girls on them, naked girls with <laughs> exactly all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. So some people like that stuff. I, you know, um, let me see if I can find the picture of some of them. They're pretty funny. So someone wants to know uh, what does it cost to join a CMP? It costs you nothing. To, oh, to join a club. Okay. Well, for example, um, there's a Florida Shooters. I forget what it's called. Here, hang on a second. Here, Florida. The cheapest. Cheapest one that I've seen that I'm a member of is the Grant Collector Association. It's $25 a year, and you get two magazines, once Florida, every six months. Florida Shooters Association is $20 a year, and basically they have they have shoots. If you want to do all that shooting stuff, they have different shoots at different ranges and all that stuff, but basically it's an approved club. So you pay your $20, and then you just put their info down on the, on the, um, on the application form and all that. And um, off to the CMP. <laughs> Here. I, I, what's Here. cracking you up? I'm going to send you that link for the uh, M45 picture. That oh, I'm yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten this. I didn't this know. Is just, this is just what came in the box. I just put it in chat. So that, like, that, went, that came and went real fast, right? When, when hey, I, I think they sold out within <laughs> an hour. I think that's amazing, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can stick okay. that link up on up on chat if everybody else wants to see. <laughs> That's some good stuff. I, like I know. Yeah, yeah, I let me uh, let that me that put it in the chat so everyone else. Can <laughs> <laughs> I gotta uh -oh. save that picture. I gotta save that someplace. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great, and I, I heard about there it like a, day after they, a day after they went for sale. But man, mm -hmm. I would kill to have one of those. When did the Marines? The Marines bought more 1911s. I didn't. I didn't know about that one. Was yeah, the, a year and a half ago or two years ago, they decided to go with the. Uh, I think the oh, it's Marsoc. It's not just your standard Marine Corps. Right. I think it's Marsoc only. Um, you can either carry a Glock or a Glock 19 or a um, oh, okay. Eagles Glock 17 or a M45A1. Okay, so so the Marines bought these and they weren't happy with the finish. The finish was wearing off. Yeah, yeah. So they they sent them back to Colt, and instead of Colt scrapping them, they sold them on the secondhand market. But wow. you know, an M forty five A one goes for like two thousand dollars. They were selling them on Gunbroker for like nine fifty each, and I was kicking I myself. I, 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 I saw it like twenty four hours later, and I was like, "Are you shitting me? I could, I, I missed it by a couple hours." I didn't even I didn't even hear about that. Yeah. Uh, I, and now you know now secondhand are going for like four people are trying to get like three and four thousand for them. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Yeah, that's but if you need a dick, sharpie dick on it, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> Absolutely, I would just uh, put a um, clear, clear coat. coat. <laughs> yeah, right over that. <laughs> you know, and just rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's just spewing yeah. out some bullets over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's some STDs mixed up in that. <laughs> But, you know, you got to wrap that rascal. Just put a thing <laughs> over top of it, you know, and it's ready to go. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. So, yeah, you know, we need to try to get in on that.
Um, oh, yeah, yeah when the mean, CM some were more worn, but I thought they looked great. They're cool, super cool. Yeah, I get I get the emails from the CMP, and when that happens, I'm sure they'll send out an email that just things are getting ready. And, oh, yeah. And um, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely be lined up for a couple, so. Um, okay. Very nice, very nice. So any other news? Who's that? Who came up with that news? Was that Babyface? Yeah, well, that was mine. <laughs> okay. Walter, what you got? What's going on with what's going on at Fox News? Oh well, oh, I you know, know that's where that's where you okay, like to turn this, to. You know, this is this is a murder news. You see this? this they found these uh, this two up in Montana that were dissolving two bodies that they people they murdered in chemical baths. What? No, I haven't seen that. Mm. Grizzly basement crime. It's on the front of Fox News. Yeah. This was in uh, Montana. Montana. Okay. Yeah. Um, some of our more upstanding citizens. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it it's, it sounds like a sung like a thing from a um you know a, a movie plot or something. Uh, win for gun dealers. Oh yeah, you hear where they're ending that Operation Choke Point where they were where they were shutting down the financing and and and, and banking stuff for gun dealers? No. Yeah. Yeah, that um, yeah, that was on that was on one of the the blogs, the gun blogs. Yeah, that that another illegal program that Obama was running. Um it doesn't matter though when you're leftist, so um, <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, CNC, CNN star under fire for questioning Trump's mental illness. Look at that goofy smile I got on that guy's face on Fox News. He looks like a retard. <laughs> um, the, uh, is this one of the Fox News people? No, he's even there. Uh, oh, okay. I got that, that email from uh, Rebel Silencers saying that they have, the ATF has implemented a 24 hour to like 48 hour turnaround on Form 3s. Yeah. yeah. Digital. Yeah, Pretty so cool. what it is is you got like Gemtech and uh, two other companies got them to implement a, a barcode system. So basically for Form 4s, um, whether it's suppressors or whatever it is, you can go to Gemtech's website, you can type in your info, print out the Form 4 with a barcode on it, and you're good to go with the ATF. So when they get all they do, they got to do is just scan it to their system. That's yeah. awesome. I think that um, I think they're rushing into this, man. It's only 2017. <laughs> what the hell? You know, like what the hell took us so long? <laughs> well, you know, why? It's, it's, it's proof that a that capitalism wins when you have a private business that takes over something like that. They get it done instantly. Boom! Boom! Yeah. Boom! Yeah. And, when you let yeah. the government try to handle it, it takes forever. It's not costing the government anything. No. And they came up with a whole system. It's a real simple system, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, it should have been. You know, every every SOT should have a, their own barcode or something, and then it you just increment it from there, something like that. Well, yeah, what it all, all it is is basically you just got to have a portal where you can fill your form out, and, and then yeah, code, and 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 their system knows what the barcode says, and instead of having to hand implement or hand enter all that info and all the errors and you know misspelling of words and stuff like exactly. that. Yeah, I mean, I think beyond the fact of the two hundred dollar tax stamp, what why, really turns off a lot of people. Why do you want this this SBR? Because I want to shoot off some zombie dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I think the big thing that holds a lot of people back is the freaking is the wait, wait time. You know, obviously the the cost, you know, is is horrible. Uh, I'm not you know, saying I, that I, it I, isn't, but I've gotten I, used to it. After you, you know, that. after you wait nine years for something, the wait. I can't even. I can't even imagine. Did, did you just forget about it at some point? Yeah, at some point, I mean, I, they would have. I could have got my money back. You know, if I would have took that thousand dollars at that time, I could have bought a stem gun for that price. And now the stem gun is worth five or six. Yeah. So a lot of people did that. They got their money back, and I, I didn't want my money back. I wanted the upper, and um, I knew the person that owns the company and stuff, and I knew he was working on stuff, but. You know, design wasn't finished when he started taking people's money. You know, I know that for a fact. Oof. The design changed a couple of times. Um, so, anyways, I wanted the upper. I waited. I got the phone call. I paid off the balance. I bought some extra barrels, and I got my I got my strike. Yeah, I mean, I understand the how things go nowadays, but I think uh, I'll always just wait for that thing to actually exist. Kickstarters, kick, getting in on the kickstarters, I get it, but. Yeah. You know, if if you're not patient enough to put that money, like you guys just put the money out in the universe and forget about it to do that. Well, you know, I, yeah. I hope it'll come back to you. You've got some other stuff like that. When are you getting your, what is it? The, what's that? Helio? 
Uh, What's the reverse trike that we're waiting yeah. on? I'm a fan of reverse trikes. I don't know if anyone else out there is. <laughs> they um they um. When's that coming? When's that coming out? They were supposed to start something coming out this year. Um, I don't know. There was rumors that they were having money problems. Um, they were going to do another stock offering. Um, so I, things are still. I'm still getting emails from them and stuff, and it just. You know, I, I gave him a thousand dollar deposit. You know, if I get it, great. If I don't, you know, it's. I took that money was from selling one of my military trucks, so it was, it was a, oh. it was a, it was profit. So, um, you know, I, I can understand. You know, the whole, it takes a lot of money to build a car, or three. Well, any, to get approvals and everything is right, uh, right, and all the ridiculous, and, yeah, and vendors and all that stuff. So, you know, if it happens, great. You know, if it doesn't for some reason, then they gave it a good college try, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. and I'm not, you know, when you, when you, when you do that kind of thing with a deposit, if, if you get mad, if you don't get it, then, you know, shame on you. You should have, you shouldn't have given your money. So. Yeah. Uh, um, Chris B wants to know baby face, what can are you using? He wants a can for really his can? 1022. Oh, what can? Yeah. I thought he said what ammo, what can it's a, uh, Spectre two silencer coast Spectre two. Yeah. Um, and you've got um, some other 22s. This, this, you've got a few, right? 22 can suppressors. No, just, I only have one 22 suppressor. All my other suppressors oh. are, um, I have, now I have two nines, I have a 22, two nines, a 45, and a 223. Wow. And I have one, um, I have one 45 that's, the paperwork's already gone in. I have one 22 that we just got from Rebel that we, we have to put the paperwork in. I have a 22 from so-and-so, the cheap one that we got that that paperwork has to go in, and I got the Poseidon that paperwork needs to go in. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of paperwork. Yeah, the problem is that's six hundred dollars in paper that I got. Yeah. Well, everybody. at least you know while you've been waiting to do your paperwork, um, at least they've like streamlined the system. I know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll do it for form fours as well instead of not just form threes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it should, they should be able to do it for everything, you know. It's just I mean, form threes, I guess, have. I, I well, I don't know if like, form threes are lower volume, because it it has to get sold to somebody. So probably the same amount of volume as a form four. Yeah. So yeah, they just need to implement it for four and four, so I can get my paperwork back in like twenty-four hours and go pick up my stupid suppressors. Yeah, now you. I so will you literally pay that. all six hundred dollars tomorrow if they implement that shit. <laughs> so what was you said it was a Spectre, right? What was that? Um, Spectre two, Silencer Co. Spectre. You want to say? How do you say it? Silencer Co. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a good one. Um, Silencer Co. Also has um, what is it? The Sparrow. I think I have a Sparrow. Sparrow's a good one. Yeah, Sparrow's a, a yeah. good all-around. Um, and then uh, what's the one that PTP makes? Um, uh, oh God, a, it's not a Ranger. Former sponsors of the Hank Strange Experience. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Scout. The Scout. Yeah. Is it, the oh, Scout the is scout. the I thought was the uh, the nine millimeter. Mm, no, I think that's a Ranger. Who knows? We got to check. Yeah, no, you're right. The check. Scout is a rimfire can. Yeah, more cans, yeah. Huh? What about you, Walter? You you've got some twenty two cans. What do you like? Uh, you're old school, so yours are from. Uh, <laughs> I got I got I got to get that old school. <laughs> I'm, gonna, to think, a I'm trying to think of the old school. Yeah, he's got a, like Hiram Maxim. Hiram Maxim actually made the suppressor that Walter well, I would love that with his own hands. <laughs> and by the way, um, oh, so would I, man. That would be so freaking awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I just got a couple of those John's Guns ones, um, which know is not called John's Guns anymore. It's changed names. Um, I need to get some more. I mean, I got that Gemtech um, Sandstorm, I think it is, and then I got the Sandstorm. one from Gemtech that I haven't even shot yet, 30 caliber. Um, do, you, uh, do you transfer them to the company, or do you do them for yourself personally? What's that? Do you like form three them to Safety Harbor, the Safety uh, Harbor? All, all the cans I have are all Safety Harbor firearms cans. Yeah, it makes more sense. You don't have to pay. I haven't pulled the trigger on the two hundred dollars just so I can have the can. You um, got to pay for it in <laughs> uh, in licensing fees every year, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, um, and then uh, Gemtech's got some money in mind. You know, they call me. What what would do? You'd order a can from Gemtech, and when it was ready, they'd call you and say, "All right, send the money." Well, they called. We sent the money, and I was like. Where's the can? <laughs> so okay, I, I hope you I hope you're planning on getting that soon because Gemtech call, is changing call, hands. I call them up and ask them, and it's like, well, um, they're out of stock right now. And I'm like, uh -huh. well, we're gonna make some more, but we're not sure when they're gonna be available. I'm like, didn't Gemtech just um, sell to Smith and Wesson? Yeah, 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Gemtech up and say, hey, you know, they've got like $1,200 of mine. This is a, this is an expensive can. This is not a little $200 Which one is can. this? Um, I think it's like a Sandstorm or it's one of their titanium Inconel, you know, fancy cans. Really high um, end, yeah. So I think I'm going to call them up and say, hey, you know what? You know, it's what do you got in stock that we can get? I can get instead of instead of waiting on this, you know, can, and maybe get some, get a nine can, or maybe get a couple cans actually. So, um, you know, I, I might do that. I've been thinking about it lately. I need to get off my butt and do it. So, because I need a can for the Uzi, I need an Uzi can like that. So, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Let's get <laughs> let's get an Uzi can, Walter. I know. Um, so I, I want to get my hands on one of the uh, Allen Engineering suppressors for the Mark 12. That's like the, the actual suppressor that was made for the Mark 12. But having, this one of the, another one of the things I haven't gotten around to. Money. <laughs> Money has to go elsewhere right now. I think it's the AEM-5 is the actual can that was used on the, the Mark 12. Yeah. 904 is asking if I make cans. Um, not you yet. You should. Not Come not. on, Walter. You know, if... <laughs> Make some make some cans, Walter. That's what we need. Get off your can and make some cans. Yeah, we need some cans. Okay, so here's a question. Someone's asking us a question. Everyone, everyone here on the panel gets to answer this. Uh, who is this from? Forever, Lola. I guess. Okay, Forever wants to know which one would you guys choose? Forever, or no? Which one would we choose? But the person who put this is Forever. Okay, so the Smith and Wesson SD40 versus the Sig. 2022. That's is that even Which a question? Do? I would choose the Glock. <laughs> what, what? Hang on. What? Are, what? Um, the Smith and Wesson SD40 versus Sig 2022. There, so these, uh, you're it, choosing between a 40 and a nine. You're gonna. I'm gonna go for the nine every day because 40 is a garbage cartridge. <laughs> and I'm about okay, to piss off a lot of people. That's Babyface's answer. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, if I okay, so in all, I mean, you know, pretty much I, I would get a Glock. But if I had to choose, looking at them, I I would probably choose the Sig. Do the do the M&P 2.0. This thing's like dope. This thing's super dope. Yeah, the the M&P 2.0 is fun, is cool. And it's, it's like four hundred and forty bucks or something. I want yeah. a Canic. I think it really depends where you are. So I don't know where Forever is. Uh, okay, he's looking for something under four hundred bucks. Canic. And, oh, this uh, is above. Yeah. Yeah. Jonic um, or whatever. Canic. Walter says do you want to support? Do you want to support the Turks? <laughs> <sighs> Somebody's got to get supported. <laughs> Should we? Do you, right do you now, right now I'm supporting the, the hell out of some Germans with a you're, Glock. You're, you're also, you know, a lot of Americans work at Century Arms, too. So. Yeah. yeah, so you're importing a, or you're supporting an importer, I guess. I would get a used Glock. Yeah. For, uh, so you're, you're well, saying under $400? Um, two hundred dollars. I mean, you can get Glock twenty twos and twenty threes for like nothing right now. If you're looking yeah. for a forty, yeah. you can get Glock twenty twos for like. Yeah. Now some nothing. people, some people like forty. There's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And some yeah, people totally. where they are, I don't know where Forever lives, but some people where they are, it's California. easier. He's in California. Okay. Yeah, he lives in California. So it, is it easier for you to get forty in California versus nine millimeter? Because it could be. You know, that could be one of the things, so... Yeah, so, like, the TP9, it's too new. It's not on their gun registry, so you can't buy it. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the thing. Um, that's and I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to knock the Canic or anything like that, but and, and I've had them and all that kind of stuff. I don't Wait. think there's, like, anything wrong with it, but, you know, you can't Wait. go wrong with the Glock. What's insanely what 904? What does he John, think is Johnic? insane? Is it Johnic? Okay. Yeah, Canic, yeah. Canic? It's not Canic. It's it's in Turkish. It's like Chonic. But I think okay. it's well, we're we're speaking American-ish here. <laughs> we in Turkey over here. You hear what I'm it's, saying, House? <laughs> we're speaking American-ish. We got some but, um, here. Yeah. Um, listen, I don't think there's anything really wrong with those. So, I mean, if that's what works for you, go ahead and do that. It's hard. Um, it's hard. To, it's hard. You gotta. It's hard to people ask me oh, what's a good nine millimeter. It's like, well, how much money you want to spend? Have you ever picked this gun up? Feel how it feels, how it points. You know, you gotta. There's a yeah, lot here's of the question you, you have to work. ask yourself: If you're going for a four hundred dollar budget, and then you get the four hundred dollar gun, and you have to spend another hundred or two hundred bucks on it, oh, you're probably oh, not for sale with magazines. You're fine. 
so yeah, here at uh, for four or whatever your name is, <laughs> um, if you go to Aim Surplus, they have Leo the police trade in Gen three Glock twenty twos and forty for three oh nine. And that's like crazy cheap. That's awesome. I would just rock with that. Man. Yeah. If you want 40, go for that. And or aim? you could get a... Gen was it aim, babyface? What's it? Was it aim? Yeah, aim surplus has them. Okay, aim yeah. Surplus? yeah. Oh, you could do this, which is probably really expensive. Oh, no, you should do this instead. Leo traded Sig Sauer P226 in 40 for 339 That's a hell of a deal. Or you just do whatever the hell you want to do and don't listen to our crazy asses. 339. Get it. You can get a bread of 92 for 299. You have to get a bread of 96 if you want 40, though. Get the gun that you really want to get. That would be my advice. Just consider that. Get whatever the hell you want. Yeah, you get whatever you want to do. I mean, obviously, we all have opinions on it. So, you know, opinions are like assholes and everyone's got one. And we're definitely that. <laughs> Hey, wait a but, <laughs> you know, the thing is, is that get what you want to get. Just think to yourself, you know, are you really going to be happy with this? Or are you going to, because if you buy this gun for three, four hundred bucks and then you're not happy <laughs> with it, it's not going to be valued at three, four hundred bucks when you go to sell it. <laughs> so that's something I think you should consider. I don't think a lot of people think about that, right? You know, they they think, oh, I'm gonna get this thing. It's real, you know, it's real cheap. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go out and buy it, and then they're not happy with it, and they maybe spend some money on it to make it better, and they realize, okay, it's not better, even though I spent that money. Then they go to sell it, and then they don't get that money that they oh, spent. Oh yeah, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like fixing up your car and thinking it's worth all kinds of money, and I'm gonna get all this money for it, and you ain't gonna get any money because you fixed it up. Yeah. So sometimes you're better, I think, you know, spending a little bit more and, and getting something that's a little bit better. And in and, and both of those companies, as, as Patrick is saying, they make guns that are a little bit better for a little bit more. What are you showing us, Walter? This is, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, uh, like the high power, FN high power. Oh, I want one. Is that an well, FEG? This is actually an Arcus. The, the Arcus is made in Bulgaria. Yeah, I love the high and power. Basically, it's, a, it's an FN knockoff. Just uh, you know, double action, single action, um, all all that, um, all kinds of safety features, um, all steel, nine millimeter, high capacity. Um, I bought it. I bought these from Century a few years ago. I've seen the old um, the old FEG knockoff yeah. high powers go for like less than two fifty. Those things. I remember back in the day, back in the nineties. I think those things were like, oh, they were they were way under two hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. And I had it's still some, not expensive, and they made them forty-five too, which is a beast. Oh, that's cool! I didn't know they made a forty. Yeah, they made a forty-five version of that. So these Arcus, I picked. I got. They got the full size and the compact. Um, we got to take them out and shoot them. We got to have a pistol shooting day. Oh. Forget about yeah, that. Yeah, I need one of these forty-fives, Walter. Why did you tell me that? <laughs> the um, FEG GKK. I think, I think Aim had some of those for a while there. Um, they had the FEG um, nine millimeters, I think. Yeah, yeah, they have the nines. I've never seen a forty-five, and this and is also cool. gets um, it's aim or cold. One of those two gets. So they've had the Israeli FNs, the Kareem, I think. Those are cool. they still have those, I think, um, and they're not. They're you're talking four or four fifty for one, which isn't. Yeah. I mean, I think that's perfectly reasonable for what you get. I see Screaming Skull Saloon says PPS M two is his everyday carry. So a lot, lots of folks the are PPS doing M2 that. PPS M two is awesome. Yeah. I really like them. <laughs> I've got lots of friends that are going over to 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 um, you know Walther wagon. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. You know, especially I just knock it. Uh, let's see, P mags, twelve fifth, twelve thirty delivered. P mags. Oh, those are Gen two um, five four. Yeah. Okay, two twenty. Oh, I have one then, of the five four five P mags. And then he also says he's looking at the Steyr C A one for winter carry. I like this. Uh, have you guys shot the Steyr? Never. I no, haven't. Never. The, the sights are really interesting. Yeah, it's there. very cool. It's got like a like the triangle sights. Yeah, like a pyramid kind of. I forgot what it's called. Here, let but, me uh, ask you about one that one that came in. It came and went, and I guess it came back. The um, oh, the one made in Abu Dhabi. They and Steyr's before Glock, I think, actually, believe yes. it or not. Steyr's yeah. around before Glock, I believe, yeah. Abu Dhabi gun, I'm Googling it because I have no An idea. An Abu Dhabi gun? Yeah, um, it was, oh, hell, they had a recall. Air, on air call? 
The Camel the, S3. Heracol. 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 Camel. That was a nice. That was a nice. Um, the way it would. The way it pointed and the whole. What the was whole, it? The Caracol what? What now? Which which gun was it? Caracol something. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't think it was just called the Caracol. Caracol pistol. Caracol yeah. pistol. Let's look it up. Yeah, it's uh, the company's based in or made. I think they were making. I think they're going to make them here now. But they were at that. That the one I had was made in Abu Dhabi. Oh, oh okay. It looks like a. Uh, is it kind of a CZ sort of yeah, thing? I don't know of. what that looks like. Yeah, it's a little weird. When you pick, well, you know, when you pick it up, and you, first thing I do when I pick up a pistol is point it. See how it points? Yeah, that's it points naturally, where you don't have to find the sights. Yep. You're there. I mean, you don't need all that other monkey business if it, that works because it's just boom. Seems like there's a stock available for it. That's <laughs> that little hand grip thing that I think they make. So yeah. it's not a stock. It's just like you're. It goes on here, and then your hand goes around and holds it. It's kind of interesting, like a thumb hole kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. They um, there was a recall. I sent mine back. I got more money for the in the recall than I paid for it originally. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I was, that's always you. That's how you know you're in trouble. <laughs> I think they gave me five hundred bucks for it, and, and I think yeah, maybe might have been paid like three and a quarter when they first came out, something like that. So, um, I was happy camper. So. You know. <laughs> But that could have been like a historic gun now. It's like zip here's guns. A, here's an interesting one. Have you guys heard of the FK BRNO? Oh FK my god. Bruno? You're just trying to make us search on, on Instagram. What? Look up the or FK Bruno. On Google. B -R -N -O. FK Bruno. That's, um, that's it's a seven uh, it's a what is that? Seven point five millimeter, so it's like a twenty six caliber or something like that. Um it's just this really weird. 15 plus one, and it's... Looks like a race uh, gun. Yeah, it kind of looks like a race gun, but the ballistics of it, it's supposed to have the stopping power of like a... or the, the muzzle energy of like a 10 millimeter, but it's supposed to feel way more like a 9 millimeter, I think. I think I saw this at SHOT Show. It's pretty cool I, looking. And, yeah, I read a bunch of stuff about it. It's supposed to be a pretty cool gun. Yeah, Yeah, it yeah. looks neat. I just I don't know if it's vaporware or if it's ever going to you know, ever come out. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, hey, the MDRs are coming out, supposedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, MDRs are getting out there, so anything could happen. Anything could happen. Any interest? You guys interested in the MDR? I, th I don't know if we had this conversation. I think, again, I'm going to piss people off, but I think it's ugly. None whatsoever. Yeah, it's kind of fugly. Yeah. I think the back end of it looks ridiculous. Um, okay, so you probably like the RDB from Caltech better. Yeah, give me that metal RDB, one they were working on. I still think the RDB is a little bit weird. The RFB, I think, looks the best. But that's a 308, so it's a little different. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, you, um, Walter wants the, uh, what was the, the, the metal and wood I'm version of the metal. RDB? Oh, the something, M43? Something. M43, yeah. That thing was sweet. I don't know why they never brought it out. Because uh, it's expensive. They don't do metal. Expensive. Bring it out. Yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. That's, that's not their... Um, she, well, it, it, I don't think it. From my understanding, it wasn't even the metal. It was the wood stuff that you have to do. Sheet on metal is not their forte. No. Yeah, so. but the woodwork they wanted to do like real, like I think it would be really expensive to get lasers and all that kind of stuff to you make that stuff out. That wood. Huh? Do it. I'll pay for it. It looks Farm too it cool. Out. Farm it out. Farm what, it. what I think maybe someone yeah. will just make a kit, right? Like you, you know, you buy a regular RDB and someone makes a kit and then you can go. turn that, it into that's that. A good, yeah, so many in the comments. Go, go, set, make that. Go make that happen. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy from you. I'll be your first, first person. Walter, to I think you make it happen. Groza? Anybody want a Groza? I'm, I'm ready, Walter. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike Bryant says MDR looks like the girl wearing the same dress to prom as the Tavor. <laughs> that's just cold. <laughs> That's just cold-hearted. <laughs> no, I, I'm not, no, and besides that, that that thing is expensive too. What what are they going for? Twenty five hundred. Oh, whoa, 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 what? That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of money for a. What the uh, fuck do you get for twenty five hundred? A reach around? More than once. <laughs> it better be more God, than that's once. expensive. Um, Al Al Sherbeck says P Mag seven eighty nine at. Two way uh, mags, I guess. Two -way I don't mags. Know. Listen, if you can get P mags cheap, I say keep racking up on them. Okay, um, you don't know what's happening three years from now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey. so don't let this law. Remember the 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 um. God. The idiom is buy low, sell high. Oh my. 
buy low, sell. So right now, um, all these things, there's a lot of deals out there, a lot of good deals going on. People over manufactured a lot of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Well, they, even if they haven't over measured, they still got to make it and sell it to, and, to keep going. There's no yeah. choice. I mean, how much were those? Um, how much were these magazines that you were getting originally, Walter? How much were these magazines? Like thirty bucks? Yeah, thirty round, thirty round um, mags were running like somebody sixty dollars a piece, stuff like that. Whoa! Whoa! You know, and then, and then how much did you get them for the other day? These are twenties. These are not thirties. These are twenties. I got them for nine ninety five. Jesus, okay. prices now are now they're falling. That's now, what I'm talking about. Yeah. With the Sig Mag, there's there's Gen One and there's Gen Two Sig Mags. Yeah. These are Gen One mags, and if you look at the difference between the Gen One and Gen Two, it's it's basically just the feed lips and the length of the steel and the feed lips. When I look at it, I go, well, hell, I could I could always if I had to modify it if I needed to. Yeah. But, now but we promise. Go ahead. For nine ninety five to have twenty rounds, I'll take it. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. And that might help it get into like a bag like this. By the way, check right. this out. You know, Max, Max Expedition Rift Core, Walter. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That, that's you're, sexy, you're, right? You know, when you're doing concealed carry or, or, or compact carry, let's use that term, um, you don't need a freaking mag that's 100 rounds anyways. I mean, you know. Well, yeah, that's the thing. That's what I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to lock on here. So here's this. This is the Rift Core from Max Expedition. I'm just, it's like a new bag. I'm just breaking out. See, it goes in there, goes in there good without the magazine. It fits in there. We you close it up and all that kind of stuff. The problem is, is when you throw the magazine on it. So let me see. Yeah, with the magazine, you probably need even smaller than 20 because that's not going to get in there like that. Uh, yeah. See, sticking out. So, yeah, you probably need some. Uh, we need to make some tanker AK 74 mags. Especially if we're making grozas, we need the twenty, the little twenty rounders, like the little Hungarian mags, but the little tiny twenties. Yeah, I've seen online a couple places that show you how to like cut them down so they they work correctly. But right, right. I'm not cutting my Russians. These plums were too damn expensive. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's blasphemy. That's that you can't cut down a, a mag. That'd be like cutting a slab side mag down. Oh there. God, yeah, these plums were like way too. These were like thirty or forty bucks each. Yeah, <laughs> I have one slab side metal mag that I that I bought. That I just to have one, and I wouldn't cut that down. So <laughs> I'll see if I can figure out. There was a whole like design on how to the best mags to to buy and the ones to cut down. You can get because um, you can cut them and then the uh, floor plate just fits right back on, and you have a little tanker mag. Right. I see Smeggy Forty Two is in the hanging out in the in the chat room. Daily Gun Show. Um, yeah, he's with uh, he's with Gun Channels, and he's like, yeah, I need to join Gun Channels, which is probably true. <laughs> I need yeah. to do that. I need to get around to it and get it done. Get her done. So Walter, let's let's get back to talking about this, man. So yes, did you have you actually shot one of these? Um, no. What is it? M one eighty. American one eighty. American one eighty. No, never have. Never shot one. Never been in the presence of American. Well, maybe at Knob Creek, but I didn't shoot it. So. Yeah. Very nice. So what do you think? What were these back in the days like? In 1922, they sell for probably yeah. talking 1,200 bucks, something like that. I mean, you know, they weren't really cheap ever. I don't believe so. Um, oh, they were still. They were always somewhat expensive. Yeah, I mean, and they that, came. Did they, they come they, like this? Did they come suppressed like this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that, right. You know, you think about yeah. 22 like that. It'd be loud. Man. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like to have it. It'd be sound kind of like a minigun without a. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how it runs on the subsonics. That's probably just like. Can you imagine having something like this? Can you imagine this and going after your squirrels, man? You will feel like Scarface. Like, let me introduce you to my little friend. What do you do when you find a loaded magazine? And you don't know what it goes in. <laughs> that. Uh, what is this? Idea. Let's see. It looks what like is a Beretta this? mag, but the base plate. That looks like one of those short Beretta mags for the. Uh, yeah. It might go. I, I have a star pistol here that's floating around. Hmm. It might be in the star. star. Double stack? Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's double stack. Wait, is the star stack. model B a, a double stack? I thought it was a single stack. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the short Beretta mag. That's like first word problems. You just find a mag. Oh, yeah, I got a mag of ammo around here. Don't and you're like, you don't even know where it belongs. Listen, there's this thing the Egyptians invented called a Sharpie. <laughs> and you write on the side of that thing. All right, so <laughs> Sharpie on the that? black mag. 
Uh, yeah, you could get a silver Sharpie. How about writing silver this stuff? Is, that's like that's okay, like the get old a guy. pink get a pink Sharpie then. No. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Paint pen. Yeah. Well, you can you can write on there with a black one. You're still gonna see it. There's nothing, you know. I, I, it's not like you're not gonna see it. I'll just have to get all of all the semi-auto pistols out and try them one by one. That's yeah. all. Um, let me see if I could. Let me see. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna see if I could take out this magazine. No. Raymond Stoltz soon ask if the uh, HMG STGs are available now. Um, uh -huh. They're still taking orders for them. You just got to get in line. They're not gonna jump ahead of anybody that that um just waiting. Okay. So that's cool. But yeah, I mean, I ordered mine after shot, so hopefully, um, I'm somewhere on the the short list. Um, we'll find out though. I guess they had people ordered it as soon as they said they were gonna um, do it. Some people jumped right in right away. So um. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're making a ton of those. They're gonna sure make. They would, quite they, a they would like them to sell out, but I don't know that they're. You know, I mean, for the they're, first run. From hearing them talk, they're planning on making a few thousand. They're not gonna make like five hundred and stop. I don't think so. Okay. Um, that, which is that, that's the way you should do it. I mean, you know, I heard these people say, "Well, I'm gonna make five hundred units, and that's it." It's like, isn't that a lot of work just to make 500? If you can make 500, you make 2,000 or 3,000. Once you get going, it just keeps going. So, you know. I, yeah. What was the price of it? Um, the retail on that is 18. 18? Okay. Which gun is this? The, the, ST, uh, the HMG STG. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, All right, so here we go. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put this magazine in. Uh-oh. Here we go. So it goes in like this. Don't break it. I know. Yeah, yeah. That's not oh, break that's it. Not a machine gun right here. You break it, you bought it. <laughs> there we go. Don't let Lola hear that. There's a little yeah, there's a there's a little button right there, I guess. There. You can just sell his card and pay for the thing. There you go. You pull the button back and it locks in. No, it doesn't lock in. <laughs> yeah, let me try this again. There we go. Clicked in right there. I've digged into the I gotta shoot this thing, man. I'm Jones in to shoot this now. I dug into the vault. Okay, what are we looking at? That's the we've talked about this before. It's not a is it a Hakeem? It's the Egyptian Hakeem? Negative. Not an Egyptian Hakeem. Okay. Works the same way though. Moss uh forty oh fuck, what's it called? <laughs> You're right on the Wait, right. show the show the muzzle device of this thing again. Go to the front. Moss forty nine? 49 slash uh, oh, yeah. 10? I don't know. Slash B72. 4956. Hey, bingo. There it is. No. <laughs> so what the, the, the first version of the Moss 49 had a longer stock and longer barrel. And then they then they added the whole a grenade launching thing and shortened it up. Um, and it's What's in 7.5 French. Which Oh, wait. Seven five French is what it is. Seven five French. Yep, yep. I've never even seen that. It's similar to three hundred eight. Actually, Century Arms um, chambered him and or rechambered him in three hundred eight for a while. Um, it's actually everybody makes fun of the French guns. Um, <laughs> it's actually not a bad rifle. <laughs> actually, not many. Well, not many of the modern French rifles are are bad. They just didn't get employed properly. Um, <laughs> but except for the Foreign Legion. And those guys are badass. So, um, but um, anyways, yeah, this is a fun gun. It works like an SKS. It's got a dropping bolt, um, ten round magazine. Um, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to shoot. I mean, I bought it just to have an example of it for the collection, so to speak. And um, I actually have some seven five French that I picked up at. Where did I buy it at? Uh, Same place we buy yeah, everything. Let me let me guess. The creek. Knob the knob. Knob creek. Yes, sir. Yeah. The well, knob. With his knob. Is it the knob or the knob? creek? It's the creek, right? The creek. Yeah, it's the creek. Yeah, the creek. I like the knob. The creek. But anyways, yeah, I, I got a can of ammo, so I'm I'm pretty good with that. But um, yeah, they're good. Uh, I like the design and everything. They're cool guns. So that's the charging handle there on the right side. Yes. Okay. Just uh, hold on. Let me lock it on you, and then you could do. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. So it's don't have anything side. else cool. Hold on. Yeah. I do have a Hakeem also. So. Oh, Babyface went to find something something else cool. Okay, what was that you're saying, Walter? 
Uh, he was asking, he was saying that this might be the Hakim, which is Egyptian. Mm -hmm. I do have a Hakim also. Oh, okay. In the, Where'd in you the get that from? Where'd you get that from? Let me guess. Mm -hmm. You got the Hakim from the I got, creek. I actually did some swapping at the creek, but then I got the yeah at the creek. I got my home defender. Oh, what's that? The bell fed? Oh no. Yeah, that's what it needs to be. With, uh, that's with a nice little, nice little collapsible stock on it. Compact entry stock from Safety Harbor Firearms. <laughs> this thing, funny enough. With the stock fully collapsed, this thing actually fits in a bag. With the suppressor still on it. I don't even have to take the can off. Oh, cool. Hey, there you go. I got an advertisement. <laughs> Otherwise, it's without the suppressor, it is micro tiny. It is nice and small. That's an 11 and a half inch barrel. What's, uh, which suppressor do you have on there? This is the Silencer Co. Omega. Silencer Co. Without the brake, because I think the brake is stupid. <laughs> I like the flat end caps better. Brake on a 223? Yeah, they, they have a, um, it's a 30 cal can, but they have like a little brake that stands off at the end. Okay, okay. Um, I always, I switched it out to a flat end cap because I like the end cap better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, so, um, okay, hold on a second. Uh, Sean wants to know where the Rebel Suppressor is reliable. <laughs> so did, reliable? It's, it's you know, a, we did, yeah. Did anyone? Did anyone blow them up? No. I mean, I only shot. I probably shot less than ten rounds through mine. So. Yeah. Same here. We put a handful of rounds through it, and it was fine. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't super quiet or anything like that. But they're tiny. We're when gonna I, make a massive one though. When I stacked the two together, they got normal quiet. Yeah. 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 Full length, it was decently quiet. One by itself, not so much, but two together. So. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, it, it works and everything. I mean, it's it's just rated for 22, so, right, right, yeah. um, you know. And by the way, Babyface and I have the lowest numbers, I think, outside of um, the, the people who made them. Because Rebel, Rebel Silencers sent out how many of them, Babyface? So I saw the, their, on their Facebook they had a post saying they had 540 that went out. We got suppressor numbers three and suppressor number four. So we... I somebody got one and two unless they kept them at the factory. Yeah, Babyface has three because I like the number four. What number yeah. did you get, Walter? What I think numbers? it was, wasn't it like two? I don't have them here with me, but it was like two forty-one and two forty-two, something like that. Yeah, I don't know how we got the lowest numbers. Yeah, yeah. you must have been the we must have been like the first people. <laughs> I, seriously, I was the thorn in their ass because I I called a couple times like, where are these at? What are you guys doing? I didn't yeah. believe it when. Chris came in. Chris, that works for me, comes and goes. They're, like, they're giving away a free can. I'm like, yeah. Oh, come on. I yeah, I was like, you can't. There's no way. Yeah. So it was, like, guys, it was a good publicity stunt. Oh yeah, it's great. That was a good idea because those things yeah. cost must to make. So yeah, someone needs to give away free uh, thirty cal. Come on, free thirty cal. Up, <laughs> up your game. Up your game. Damn it. So you know that's how you got to do it here. Okay. So here's another question. Have you guys seen the 22LR version of the Browning 30 machine gun? Yes. The yes. Tip, it's called a Tipman. Yep. It's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Good, good going, Walter. Guess what, Walter? Guess what you get for knowing that? Can I have a patch? Can I have a you, patch? Yeah. <laughs> you get an infinite amount of Safety Harbor patches. Can I please have a patch of my own? <laughs> So it looks like Lola sent me this um, thing for the uh, Gen 2 30 round uh, Magpul. It's, uh, yeah, $7.89. $7.89. Well, how much shipping? I don't know what the shipping is. Um, That's a hell of a price, folks. That's a good uh, price. Yeah. Go get you some Go get you some magazines, man. The uh, the Magpul mags um, are good as anybody's mags. So In the that chat. Okay, Lola says she put it in the chat. So, do you want to? Can you put it in the description also, so that when folks watch this later, when they watch it later, they get okay. So now here's the big gun. I'm gonna muzzle you guys. Check this out. Boom! Saw look this. Look at this thing coming at you. Coming, coming at you. All right. Here's a here's a some trivia for that's beautiful, man. I, those saws are cool. Yeah, this is really. You do you have one of these yet, Walter? No. Oh, that's seven seven something seven seventy five hundred bucks. I can't. Yeah. If I'm spending seventy five hundred, it's gonna be on a Barrett. But I couldn't. I couldn't see that. 
this is epic. That kind of stuff is epic that the big gun company would come out with a semi-auto version of their machine gun. Yeah, this is freaking... Years, a few years back, that would have been an unheard of. Oh, yeah. No, you know, Don't ask HK to do that. It's never going to happen. <laughs> I, I think if HK ever does that, there will be... That's when the... Um, um, when the dogs start chasing the cats and the... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here's some AK trivia for you guys. What do they call this thing? What is this thing? You a four get? penis. A what? What penis? What kind? <laughs> I said a, a four um, penis. That's I've, called the Stuckenkraut. I've heard the donkey part. Donkey, uh, the donkey dick. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a Romanian foregrip for the. the foregrip. Yeah, I don't know what it's actually called, though. <laughs> I've heard it referred to as the donkey dick. So. <laughs> donkey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I always call them four penises on. Uh, <laughs> on AK or AR. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh. So what exactly is that AK you got there? This is basically just a Romanian. Um, it was a Romanian um, G parts kit that were available back in the day for like a hundred bucks, um, with the barrel and everything. My dad bought a, a one time. My dad bought a hundred parts kits for seventy five dollars a piece. What? <laughs> okay. And then they were with the barrels and everything. And he sold them anywhere from 100, and the final, the last ones he sold for 300. So, God dang. Um, but yeah, this was a G model um, Romanian parts kit that I welded the receiver together. Start crying. <laughs> Everybody's crying. <laughs> Why then, is that such a violation? Why is it such a violation? To AK is riveted. It's, a, it's a violation if you're, a, if you're like a rivet monger. You know, mm -hmm. the only kind of AK is a riveted AK. Um, I, I understand that. I understand. So I, why did I'm you surprised. why did you not rivet it? You just don't have the riveting. Way more time consuming. Huh. I didn't have the tools, and I got a TIG welder, and yeah, <laughs> and I was pretty good. So, do you have a riveting thing now? No, I don't. No. I okay. Don't. What about you, Patrick? Yeah, I got the riveting tools. Yeah. That's so there cool you go. Thing. Both of my AKs are riveted AKs. Yeah, Patrick's a real man, and Walter, well, you uh, are are just no, a no, sissy. No, no. You're just a sissy. You might as well just go put on a dress. <laughs> I'm, I'm not making fun of Walter. He's like, he's like, he's like mean to a Groza, so I can't make fun of him. No, I'm just... We're going to will that sucker together. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least the first one, anyways. And like, <laughs> it's going to get welded up. <laughs> the welded version, and it'll be the riveted version. Yeah. No, but I mean, I understand why people... Some people have tried to weld stuff together that don't know how to weld. And or like use a MIG welder, and it turns into a real hack job. Yeah. So um, I can understand the the not liking of the welding part, but um, it's a the, the, here, let me let me explain this to you. This was a hundred. This was a seventy-five dollar parts kit <laughs> with a seventy-five dollar receiver at that time, probably. And so what? <laughs> don't everybody don't start crying. So 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 what? I mean, I could cut this thing. I could cut this receiver in half and sell the kit probably for three fifty, like it's so easy. Yeah, and and I would sell it tomorrow. So, so what lasts longer, the rivets or the weld? I'm that's assuming. to be determined. I've never, I've never taken the rivets to the. I mean, the welding to um, like a torture test. Okay. Well, we can An do. AK? Yeah, I think we need to do that for you, Walter. Any AK properly put together is going to last you a hundred thousand rounds. I I I've got, after, a, um, I've got a couple of a barrel. I wouldn't I wouldn't have any problem at all taking this very one right here and shooting the the dog poopy out of it. So okay. oh, yeah. you don't have any problems just dropping it? Um dropping no. it, throwing it in the dirt, beating well, it up. This is a this is a pretty dick though. I might take the dick off first though, but <laughs> I'm gonna now loop that. You know that, right? You know, I have, dick. you know I have the power <laughs> to loop that. <laughs> You have the lube. That's a pretty dick. Use the <laughs> nanotechnology on it. Yeah. Well, you might as well go ahead and say it because I'm pretty sure at this point, you know, we're never, <laughs> we're never get. This is never getting approved. <laughs> yeah. The YouTube well, dude's gonna be like, these these guys have way too many guns. We are not approving. I was having visions of taking this nice folding stock mm -hmm. and putting it on my Draco. So. But in order to put it on the Draco, you have to um, put another trunnion on the back of the Draco. Pain in the ass. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's called riveting, then. I have to talk to Patrick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Patrick's got you covered. <laughs> I would have to come to He's talk. a riveting machine. I think I have an extra pack of rivets. We could do that in, like, ten minutes. Rivets are no problem. I, 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 I can get rivets. I can. 
Yeah, I, I guarantee you. Now that ri that Patrick has done that, he could just rivet the living crap out of it. <laughs> oh, I could rivet. I seriously, I could rivet that thing in like ten minutes flat. It'll yeah, be done. He, he's like Rosie the Riveter. Well, that, <laughs> yeah, that, that we're gonna have to change because um, I have um, a couple projects I want to do. We could rivet them together instead of yeah, instead of uh, instead of welding. So. Yeah. So I'm going to put this I'm going to put this big beast down guys. I'm going to put it down, but just to show once again this big monster that we've got here. If anyone knows what you're supposed to do, if anyone has the specs or whatever on how you uh, make this full auto since we have the uh, we have the right paperwork so over here to, to build full auto. That's called a class 2 manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that thing. It's called a tax stamp. Yeah, we we got that thing. So mm -hmm. Let's make this, come on, you guys want to see this thing go full auto. You want to see me do a video and then maybe, okay, Walter's breaking up stuff. Maybe <laughs> we'll get someone that we know to volunteer, like, uh, I don't know, a Fiat 500 or something. Oh, we'll you're shoot funny. It. <laughs> we'll shoot it up. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> or we'll, like, go through the sunroof in a Fiat 500 and just drive the hell. Like, hey, how about an unfinished RV project? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> about, about 150 pounds of tannerite? <laughs> no. No. See. No. Don't mess. And then there goes the. I'm not even putting the ammo on it. Ooh. Look at this, you know, we got the ammo. Ready. Full auto, though. Huh? Needs to be full auto. I'm telling you, man, if the, if the zombie apocalypse right, happens right now, my finger's going to break. <laughs> you, gotta, you, know? you gotta have the uh, auto glove. You gotta I'm gonna have to, yeah, the auto glove. Yeah, that's what that would be an awesome video, right? The auto glove and this. <laughs> you know, get all the hassle. Get the auto glove. <laughs> Just get the auto glove, and you're good to go. And you're a saw, and you're back to your saws, back to full auto. Man, this thing is no. smooth. This is a smooth AK, babe. Walter's Walter's getting yeah. fancy over there. Everybody, yeah. watch out! You're a little happy messing around with your pretty dick over there. You know, you're a little. I'm, I'm a little worried. Wood penis. Yeah, I'm a little worried about you. You're having too much fun. You know. AK. That's all. Yeah. Do we have to <laughs> notify? <laughs> hey, don't put that in our faces. <laughs> you're really gonna get. You're gonna get. You're gonna get forever. All right. Let's see. Okay. You know, now this has been the 50th episode. We still got lots of folks hanging out with us, believe it or not. Yeah. We've got a bunch of people hanging with us. Thank you for hanging out with us. Don't forget to hit the like. Hit the like button. Press like it. it. Press the like button for our 50th episode. Make sure you share this on your social media. And, of course, make sure you're subscribed because, you know, YouTube's the YouTube's is going around and just unsubscribing people from us. So make sure you do that. Um. Let's see, are there any questions out here we didn't answer? Um, let's see what's going on. <laughs> okay, Screaming Skull Saloon says the auto glove was made for lonely females. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice M1. All right, here, here's a CMP. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Now, here, here. This is a CMP gun. Um, I, they were For a while, they were selling them the, just the actions without the stocks. No wood. This one was uh, supposed to be a Danish bringback. Mm. Um, from I don't need a. I don't need it. Gives me. I just need the action. It gives me plenty right. of wood. This wood. <laughs> uh, this wood was, I bought from the CMP actually too. They were selling brand new sets of wood. So what I, is that? What um what what kind of wood is that? Uh, I'm well, probably American walnut. walnut like that or a birch. But um, this is a Springfield Armory. It's in the um, it's actually a five hundred thousand. So it's um, the gun itself. The metal's in great shape. It's not perfect, but it's not wore out and, and nasty. And this is a good shooter. It shoots well. So so um, yeah, I haven't this, shot mine in ages. I would definitely um, recommend. Um, you know, they're supposed to be getting guns from the Philippines. I don't know how beat up the Philippine guns will be because the Filipinos uh, the Filipinos have been fighting the Muslims. On Mindanao, there's stuff. no way they're still using those Garands, though. And they're still shooting. They're still shooting Garands. Um, are they really? I mean, you know, you gotta you've got to take into consideration that Filipino people are incredibly resourceful. They are. So those things are probably in good shape. 
The um, you know, I'm I'm not. I I would think that they're not gonna really be in as bad a shape as you're thinking. Well, you know, depend unless they decommissioned them a long time ago, right? If they in a warehouse in a yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if it's sitting in a warehouse in like the heat or something yeah. like that, and, <laughs> you know, then it gets then it gets put on a on shipping containers and goes over the ocean. You know what? Some of those some of those heat guns, if they've never been rebarreled or never been messed with, are worth a lot of money. So I, the, the the holy grail I, of M1 Garands is one that's all original with the original parts. Hmm. I want um I want them to bring in some M1 M1 carbines because that. Uh, I don't want to pay eighteen hundred dollars for a carbine, and but I want one, so <laughs> they need to bring in another set. Um, I bought M1 carbines from CMP too when they had them. I know they're, they've been out for years though. Um, the first one I got was kind of a a rat grade gun, and I was like, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> um, it works fine and everything, but it just wasn't real pretty. And then we got the ones that were up the food chain a little higher, mm -hmm. and they were decent looking guns. The stocks were nice. Yeah. So, what so, did you do with the first ones? I still got it. Oh, okay. The slap a kid on that thing. No, no, leave it like You're not slapping a kid on an M1 Come carbine. On. What is that for me over here? <laughs> Jesus. I, I gotta put the liquid finger on it. <laughs> uh Jake wants to know. I'm just messing with you. Jake wants to know uh what do you guys think about the six point eight SPC? Um, I don't <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not this, I'm gonna defer to Walter. Hard. Freedmore, I, I don't know hardly anything about the 6.8. Oh, hey, somebody's somebody's got, speaking of the Philippines, somebody's got a um, son that's in the Philippines with the Filipino soldiers. Al Shervik. Oh, cool. Uh, he's training? Uh, maybe he's SF. The people well, have, tell him to let us know before. how those uh, how they look over there. And they the said they're, sporting, um, they're all sporting AR-10s. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So. That's also oh, they. Another gun is a M110. That's a dream gun right there. I would they, love to own an M110. They've gotten um, some newer firearms and stuff, and I guess the Filipino, um, the, the company over there that makes the 45s is um, actually making them for the military too now, which before I guess they weren't. So because they're in the, uh, Yeah, um, Rock Island Armory? Yeah, that outfit, the ones that – I nice. have a, a Filipino. I hear they're good. I think – yeah, the one I have is, is – it's Filipino, and it works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what I want? <laughs> this is really weird. I want one of those Filipino, like, handmade 1911s where oh. the guys, like, take the crappy steel and, like, cut it out. I want that. Yeah, and why is that weird? That's freaking cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They make them it's in probably a piece of shit, but I think it's Oh, cool. okay. No, he says his son is a tourist. He's over there. <laughs> of course. He's a, tour he's a tourist. He's a tourist. But, you know, still, well, so I guess he's not going to be able to tell us what the shape of the guns look like. <laughs> yeah. He's a, yeah. That's um, cool. Is it like tourist? Was it tourist in quotes? <laughs> was it air quote tourists? <laughs> He's a tourist, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, well, however he is, hopefully he, doesn't, he comes back in one piece. So, um, yeah. I have never been to the Philippines. I'd love to go. I love the Filipino people are freaking awesome, as far as I'm concerned. I would love to go with somebody yeah. that lives there. Yeah. yeah. That's how you have to go anywhere. I went to Honduras with some Honduran people, and I had a freaking blast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honduras was like it's one of my favorite places I've ever been to. Beautiful place, man. Yeah. And I was actually check this out. I was in Honduras. I went to this party that had like the prime minister of Honduras there, and uh, Miss Honduras. I was dancing with Miss Honduras. You can't do that in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't go to a party and like be dancing with Miss America here unless you're just a baller. I'm, you know, never was a baller, but I was in Honduras dancing with Miss Honduras. There you go. Don't tell Lola I said that. <laughs> Jake wants to know, Hank, if you're from Guyana. Yes, I am from Guyana. Absolutely. Guyana. Yeah, I am from Guyana. I was born there. And um, no, when I was there, uh, it wasn't my people that had anything to do with Jonestown. That was all Americans. Yeah, that was all nothing. <laughs> that was all Americans that went over there and drank the Kool Aid and did Delicious all the crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's why that that's a term. Drink some uh, some. Drink the Kool Aid. Jim Jones punch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I was. I think when it when that happened, I was a kid. I think I was living in Guyana at the time. But I was maybe like two years old or something like that. Really young. I left Guyana when I was five years old, and then I went to live in England. For, until I was eight and then I went to live in Nigeria until I was 11 and then I came to New York City and I grew up in Far Rockaway New York New, New York, York. you know son my gangsters real I'm from Far Rockaway between a rock and a hard place 
not yeah, really, no. but I was like a nerd living in in like Far Rockaway. It was all it's all projects. Oh, so I if you ever saw New Jack City, that's what basically Far Rockaway was in the eighties. Did project you guys ever see that movie New Jack City with Wesley Snipes? I don't think I did. No. no. That's so. That's I'm so ashamed of you. Let me ask you a question. A real are there other are, are there projects still there? Or the projects been taken down in Far Rockaway? <laughs> Hell yeah, there's still projects. Oh, okay, a lot of places the projects aren't there anymore. Um, yeah, there there are a lot of places, but in uh, Far Rockaway the projects are still there. Yeah, the the storage facilities. Yeah, um, Far Rockaway used to be like the Hamptons. You ever heard of the Hamptons? Yeah, the Hamptons is. You mean the Hamptons where rich people go? Yeah, Far Rockaway used to be like the Hamptons a long, long, long time ago because it's all it's all beach. Far Rockaway is all beach. So I like I grew up on the you know on the beach in New York, believe it or not. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not it's not that anymore. And actually, my high school there's um, what's the name of the guy that did the big Ponzi scheme? Oh, um, Madoff. Madoff. Mer yeah, Madoff back in the days went to my high school that I went to. Bernie Madoff? Is that what his name? Yeah. I think uh, so, yeah. Yeah, Bernie Madoff went there. Dr. Ruth went to my high to my high school that I went to in Far Rockaway. The old days. Yeah, Carl uh Carl Icon, the billionaire dude. Yeah, he went to Far Rockaway High School. Lots of Jewish dudes. It's like a Jewish it was <laughs> a Jewish, Jewish dude. It was a Jewish high school, believe it or not, back in the days, and it was kind of like a uh, real gangster. So they always like all the bad when, boys uh, used to be there. Hmm? When they asked if you wanted to buy some rocks, they meant diamonds, not not crack. Yeah. No, it was yeah, it was. <laughs> it's been ghetto for a long time, <laughs> but long long before that, it used to be like the Hamptons. It was real nice and all that, but not when I grew up there. So it's like what you see in the movies, and I was like a big nerd in the middle of that's that's like my combat experience growing up in far rockaway growing up in the ghetto. yeah growing up in the middle of shootouts <laughs> it's funny how you sometimes when you get into the safe and you're looking at stuff it's like a light comes on and all of a sudden you see there's that gun i haven't seen in a long time <laughs> yeah so here's one of, one here's one that, of the, here's one of the cmp m1s oh man that's a that can't be a beater that one looks this, pretty good this was, like, this was a service grade i think they call it that one looks nice Oh yeah, it's nothing wrong with it at all. No, oh, it's it not. I mean, it's it's all been re rehabbed at some point, mm -hmm. but nothing nothing that's, you know. So and it's got a date of, you know, when they put the sights on the carbines, they put it right over the. Top. Yeah. Okay, you just have to show us this damn bottomless safe. I mean, your safe must be like the TARDIS or something, because I need to see this damn safe that you just hey, keep taking I, guns you know, out of. <laughs> you made fun of me about that whole uh, the, the the portal thing, you know, with Saddam Hussein. That's uh -huh. what the safe is. I just reach right. in. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow, this is bigger on the inside. Did you When you go to SHOT Show, do you ever see that big, massive yellow safe? You know, they sell those. Yeah, man, you need one of those. That you can put an apartment inside that safe. You can live inside that sucker. Yeah, yeah. Like people break into your house, that's your safe room. You just go lock yeah, yourself in fun. there. Go ahead, do that again. It's like two people tall. Okay, give us a nice perspective on that, Walter. What do you What do you mean? Like hold it, hold it back so we can see how long it is. No, the gun, the whole yeah, gun. The gun, the whole gun. gun. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's wrong? Both yeah, shots right that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. You know what? We've been doing this. Um, okay. There's, me... there's, there's, there's some there's some crazy questions in there. Someone wants to know, uh, what do I think of rednecks? Yeah. Um, I I live in Florida, <laughs> so I mean, those are the dudes that those dudes are surrounding me. I've got zero problems. Well, you know, you go get you go out in the sun in Florida and Yeah, everybody becomes a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, universal. But that's, um, like, it's, that's like that term cracker. You know, cracker's yeah. not a derogatory term when you when you use it yeah. in the sense that it's Yeah, you know, but there were cracker cowboys here in this oh, Gainesville right. area as well and all over Florida. Well, so I don't think you'd run out and call those guys any names, so Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I mean, I've got you know, I, I don't, I don't, I've never had any problems living out where I, I live in the country, farm country. You can ask these guys; yeah, yep. they've been out to where I live. It is all farm country, and we haven't had any problems because everybody's packing. 
Everybody's got guns. The calm society is a polite society. Yeah, absolutely. So everyone's cool, you know. I mean, I've not had problems here like I've had, for example, growing up in New York and all that kind of stuff. I actually love it. Yeah. There's, you know, when we when you we and the Russians were are uh, uh, each other, it's there's a thing called MAD, mutual assured destruction. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly the way, what it is. That's, that's the way it is when everybody's armed. It's yeah. mutual assured destruction. You know? Yep. Yeah. Also, speaking of the Russians, that's what uh, G Webs was talking about. You know, his favorite movie is Red Dawn. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's the thing that the, that lots of countries worry about with America, man. You come over here. Like, I remember when I first moved to where I live, I went to take my kids to the school. Mm -hmm. And we were in the school, and there was this little kid there. And, uh, and I was like, so I, I think you looked like he must have been, I don't know, six or seven years old. And I was, it was the weekend. I was like, what are you doing this weekend? He's like, I'm going hunting with my daddy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this kid's no joke. So when you when you start shooting before you crawl, you don't want to mess with those dudes. No. <laughs> you don't like they don't even have to aim. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I have, um, to, I have to you mentioned the G Web and uh in the in the uh, Red Dawn. I have to argue with him a little bit about he was very insistive about uh the, the AKs and that was iconic and there wouldn't have been any of these movie guns if it wasn't for that movie. Mm -hmm. nah, true. Okay. Post, it's been called a thing called a post sample. <laughs> post okay. Was post that, that wasn't like, was that the first, was that the, that wasn't the first movie with AKs, right? No, no, no. Uh, okay. But Milius was, Milius made some really cool movies and was a real gun when guy. Did, when did Red Dog come out? 84? Yeah. yeah. AKs haven't, yeah. I, I don't think AKs got popular until uh, maybe last 10 or 15 years. Yeah, AKs, AKs, AKs everything. When in, in the late 80s, when Reagan um, opened up the, sem the surplus uh, gun market, that's when all of a sudden all that stuff started flowing. And people were like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got my first AK like in 80, um, about the time the Challenger went down, the space shuttle. That would have oh, been okay. closer to like 86, 86. 87, something yeah. like that. 86, yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's what G Webs was trying to say. Like this was one of the first movies by John Milius was like, or is, he's still alive. I mean, he was a, he's a genuine gun guy. Okay. You know, so there was like real tactics. I mean, you know, obviously it's a movie and all that kind of stuff, but there were real tactics as the red, opposed to the Red Dawn guns, the Red Dawn AKs and all those, those are they've all been bought up by collectors. They're in people's collections. So Yeah, he was saying that there's some place you can go and shoot the I'll gun that was in the movie. Well, uh, what's yeah. the make of that uh, of the M1? The carbine, yeah. Uh, this is a. Um, I can't. Oh, wait a minute, hang on. It's up front. Smith this, Oh, a, a, oh, this is Underwood. Underwood. Yeah. yeah. Ken Helmer says, uh, and I have my own goats, which is true. Yeah. Yes, I have my own goats. Six forty. Forty. Forty-four, maybe something like that. I don't the, know. Um, M1 carbines make me carry some Underwood. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I do what Whoa! What on earth is that sound? Oh my god! Is that Walter? Walter's Walter, right now. Walter's setting off bombs. <laughs> Kick him! <laughs> Yeah, let me mute it. Hold on a second. I'll, I'll mute it. Okay, we, we had to mute Walter. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Walter just <laughs> Walter tripped a bomb or something like that. <laughs> um, let's see if we can put it back on. No, nope. still, still going, still going. Walter knocked over something on his. I don't know what just happened. Yeah. Okay. You know what? <laughs> on that note. <laughs> Jesus! Came back on. Mute him again. Mute him again. <laughs> okay. Walter, leave your thing muted. <laughs> hey! No, stop it. Again. <laughs> okay, you're making me laugh too much. All right, Walter, something's happened to your system. We're gonna have to troubleshoot that <laughs> off air. But hey, that's a good way to go out with a bang. We might as well. We might as well end this right now with Walter blowing up bombs on the show. That's going to be awesome because I am not taking that out of the iTunes. <laughs> That's going on the iTunes. All right. So I want to thank everyone. We've got lots of people still in the chat. It's pretty amazing how many people we have hanging out with us here. And there's Walter. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> 
Walter keep don't put your thing, don't put your microphone back on, Walter. <laughs> I don't know what oh, he's doing. God. All right. So, um, yeah, I want to thank everyone hanging out in the chat, everyone that shared, liked the video and all that kind of stuff. Um, everyone who's been hanging out with us for all 50 of these episodes is pretty cool. I mean, we've done this in, what, a couple of months, 50 episodes. We're doing like Monday to Friday. We have 40 episodes that are actually on iTunes that you guys can listen to in your car, you know, wherever you want to when you're like working out in the bathtub, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. That's where I listen to Hank Strange in the bathtub. Absolutely. So I want to thank everyone that, um, you know, that has been there with us all through this time. On behalf of Walter, I'm sure he would remind you to go check out Safety Harbor Firearms. <laughs> you know, he's, he's muted right now. You can't hear. Look, we'll throw him up, but he's muted. We, you know, we're not letting him put his microphone back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows what he did. We'll have to figure that out. But um, yeah, definitely check out Safety Harbor Firearms. They're one of the people that have been standing behind me for a long time, um, as well as this, this, the good folks that are here in the chat. Um, Babyface as well, man. Thanks to both of you guys for looking out, hanging out with me, you know, keeping me company. Uh, Babyface, anything that you want to say before we end this? No, not really. We got some stuff coming up, hopefully, when we get some time. Yeah, absolutely. Go out there and and get some uh, get you some safety harbor firearms. You know, get you some guns. <laughs> you know, say what's up to Walter. He's on Instagram. He's on Facebook. Ask him what the hell did he do to the microphone. But yeah, so we don't know what he did. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to thank everyone other than safety harbor firearms. I want to thank Rand CLP, of course, Andrew's Custom Leather, right. And um, of course, Big Daddy Guns that gives us the space here, lets us rock. This is a Big Daddy Guns gun right here. It lets us rock with all the badassery guns. You'll see us do something with this. We'll shoot it and uh, we'll do some other things. We'll make it uh, full auto and all that kind of stuff. And of course, I want to thank everyone that looks out for us and sponsors us on Patreon. We are Patreon slash Hank Strange. This is the 50th episode. Thanks to everyone out there that's been rocking with us. We love you. Peace. And we are out of here.